lot tonight and uh, I will try to explain as many products as I can. I know we have a lot of products. We cannot cover everything in a short span of time. During my time when I was learning, it took us minimum of two days to sit down and listen to all the, the details. But uh, most of you here are already old timers. But uh, let me just uh, share to you a bit of the company, even if uh, you already know this, just uh, quickly. This is the owner of Forever, Rexmon. Okay, just a quick review. These are the executives of the company. And uh, this is our main head office in Scottsdale, Arizona. So that's our, our, what do you call this, our exact address. We were founded in 1978. So this is a 38 years old company. It's not new. And it's a family owned business. And uh, it's a privately owned business. We are not publicly listed because the owner doesn't like his company to be publicly listed because he doesn't like investors to come in and just think about how much money they're going to make. He wants to think about how many people he's going to help. Okay? And we are a billion dollar company since we started 1978. Our sales have been uh, continuously soaring. And uh, we are in over 160 countries today. When I started, there were only about 40 countries, now over 160. So over 100 countries were added. And these are, our, these are some of our global offices worldwide. Japan, UK, Mexico, these are very beautiful offices. And everything is owned and paid for by the company. So we are a debt-free company. We do not uh, owe anybody of anything. So that's why we are very, very stable. And uh, we also have resorts. So Forever owns more than 75 resorts worldwide. Okay, these are some of the resorts. And we have over 500 luxury houseboats that are being rented out all over North America and in other parts of the resorts of Forever. So if you happen to uh, watch the, what do you call this? The Dallas TV series way back in the 80s, everything you saw there is owned by Forever today. That's the... South Fork Ranch, okay? The Ewings, remember? Okay, I haven't watched those uh, TV series. I was very, very young then, but probably some of you will still recall, especially if you're here in America. And uh, you've been there? Yeah, I've been there se several times. Okay, I've been there to Impala Inn. I've been to some of the, some of the resorts of forever, White uh, Re River Lodge. I've been there and many other resorts of forever in South Africa. By the way, if you're a business owner of Forever, even if you're just, you just newly sign up with your ID number, you enjoy a 25% discount with our resorts in Forever. So we also have the foundation we call Forever Giving. And our country, the Philippines, is also one of the regular beneficiaries whenever there are typhoons coming into our country. And uh, this is our manufacturing facility. Yeah. This is our manufacturing facility, state of the art, very modern. Um, when I was new, we went to the manufacturing, they were doing it by hand. But now there are, you know, these uh, robots just, you know, carrying. So they have basically speed up the production and also increased it many, many uh, fold. So we have two manufacturing facilities, one in Dallas. This is where we bottle all our liquid-based products are bottled and manufactured in Dallas. All our powder-based and uh, tablet-based products are made here in Phoenix, Arizona. We call it the Forever Nutraceuticals. And uh, we are basically vertically integrated, meaning we do everything. We plant, we harvest, we manufacture, we own the plantation, we own the land. We do our own research and development. We have our own quality control. We distribute we have our own tracking and distribution fleets. So everything is owned by the company. Okay? And unlike other companies, what do they do? They just rely on vendors or suppliers, put their name in it, and sell it as if it is their own. Okay? But our company, we own everything, all stages of production. Now, uh, we are basically the largest aloe vera-based uh, product in the whole world. We control 85% of the world's most potent Aloe vera. Okay, our plantations are in three countries: Dominican Republic. This is the largest plantation. We have another one in Mexico and another one in the Rio Grande Valley, McAllen, Texas. Okay, 
So three countries and we have our own bee farm. We call this Robson Honey. It's owned by Forever Living, uh, owned by Charles Robson and eventually Rexmon bought the bought the, the bee farm. Okay, it's located in the high Sonoran Desert of Arizona. So it's very far from civilization and it's very, very important because the bees, they travel a radius of about 12 miles. So if the hive is within the city limits, within 12 miles, they are able to get pollen or nectar from flowers that have been contaminated with some pollution. That's why most of the honey, uh, the honey, uh, what do you call this, that, that people buy, they are filtered or pasteurized because they have to make sure that they have to eliminate all contaminants. But our honey is grade B honey. When you say grade B, it is raw, it is pure, unfiltered. That's why if you want the best of nature, you try our bee honey. Okay, and then uh, we have the certification from the International Aloe Science Council. When it comes to aloe vera, this is the organization that grades all the aloe vera companies in the whole world. And we were the first company to be given this much coveted seal of approval for purity and consistency. That's why if you look at our products, the first ingredient is aloe vera. Okay? In most companies, their first ingredient is not aloe vera. It is maybe probably purified water. Okay? And that's very important because some, some companies claim that they are aloe vera products, but they're not actually aloe vera based. Okay? They have only a little aloe vera in their products okay and because they do not control the supply our company owns the plantation and uh, we also have the kosher rating by the Jewish community okay and the Jews are also uh, very strict in their standards when it comes to health and we also have the certification from the uh, Muslim community that our products are considered halal meaning it is safe and there are no animal products or animal ingredients in our products okay and uh, we also guarantee our products. We have 30 days money back guarantee. Well, I know it's common here in America. In Europe, some of the countries there, they even give as much as 60 or even 90 days. Okay. In Asia, uh, money back guarantee is not uh, really common like the Philippines. But we, all, we have 30 days money back guarantee even in the Philippines. That's why the first time I attended the product presentation and I heard about that, I realized that this company is not, you know, not kidding in really promoting quality products. Okay, and uh, we are ISO certified. We have the ISO 9001 for quality management system, and we have the environmental management system. Our company makes sure that we have less and less carbon footprint every single year. So we try to minimize the use of plastics and minimize the use of paper uh, when i joined forever all those products that you see especially the the lotions there everything there they are all boxed in uh with paper okay in paper boxes but now they just seal the the what do you call this the mouth and then they get rid of the the paper so we know that every paper that is used a tree is being cut and a forest is being denuded. So if we, the companies will, less, will use less paper, then we can basically preserve more of our forest. And we are partly contributing to it now. Now these are the products of forever. We have the aloe vera drinks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through as much products as I can. We have four. We have the pure aloe vera gel. We have the aloe berry nectar, the freedom, and the peach flavored aloe vera. This yellow bottle here comprises 50% of our annual sales now we are we have uh, we are averaging uh, billions of uh, dollars in in sales and 50% uh, of that is just this yellow bottle so that's the product which I'm going to explain a little bit so that uh, you will know why that's our number one product and that's the first product of forever okay, the aloe vera gel and then we have a complete line of nutritional food supplements. These are all derived from nature. And people will normally ask you when you share this to others, 
And the, the question is always, if these are all natural, why don't we eat the natural food itself? Why don't we go eat you know, the real fruits and vegetables? And that will always be their argument. And I tell them, well, that's the ideal situation. That ideally, that's what we have to be doing, eat the real food. But in the modern world, like here in L.A., how many people have gardens in their backyards and fruit trees in their backyards, right? So most of the people, because they're too busy, they just buy their food. And most of the foods that they buy are packaged, vacuum pack, and we don't know how the suppliers you know, prepared it for people to consume. And we know there are a lot of pesticides in it, okay? Uh, ours, I'm not going to say it's 100% natural, but what I can say is that this is the closest to nature as you can possibly have, okay? especially with our aloe vera. So we use freeze-dry technology. Uh, the ripened fruits and vegetables, we harvest them when they are ripe, not when they are not ripe. Okay? And then we clean it, and then we freeze it without frost, and then we powder it. And then we bind it into tablets. That's how it arrives to us. Okay? Because some people, they don't understand how a natural fruit becomes a tablet. So the, the nutrients are still preserved within the, the bottle. Okay? So we also have bee products. These are the, the bee products that we have. We have honey. Look at our honey. It's dark. It's pure. It's raw. Unfiltered. We have bee pollen. We have propolis and royal jelly. A lot of benefits here. Okay, and then uh, we have a complete line of personal care and skin care products, products that people use every day. Okay, we also have, these are skin care products here, and we also have the weight management products, and we also have cosmetics, okay, makeup. We also have essential oils. So basically products that uh, are for the very young up to the very old, we have a product that we can share to them. Okay? And that's one of the advantage that we have. Some companies maybe have one or two products, so their, their market is limited to that segment or that age group. But our company, from even the unborn child, okay, we already have a product for them. Up even when they die, we still have a product for them. You know what that product is? Makeup. <laughs> okay? Cosmetics, right? So, uh, and then uh, basically that's our products. Okay, so let's go directly to the product itself. We start with aloe vera. Why aloe vera? This is what you have to master as business owners. You have to master the aloe vera because it is half of our sales. This is our bread and butter. Okay, and these are fast moving products, these are consumable. And we have products, we have, some of our products are slow moving. If you concentrate on them, as a, in, when, it, when you talk about business, your business might also be slow. But if you concentrate on products that people consume on a daily basis, then you have repeat order and uh, your business can also become, uh, grow much, much faster. Okay? So this is all of Arab America. Okay? This company has been around since 1952. Take note, 1952, uh, under the leadership of Dr. Bill Coates and a group of uh, scientists, biochemists, and nutritionists. They were the ones who were actually studying aloe vera since 1952. Okay? And their challenge was when they transported the, the bottled product or the aloe vera that they used, the challenge was it quickly oxidizes. That's why in the next few years, they were able to stabilize the aloe vera, meaning they were able to lock in the nutrients of the aloe vera. So when they transport it, it arrives to us fresh. Okay, so when Rexmon in the early 70s um, created Forever Living, he created a marketing plan that was designed for equal distribution. He was looking for a product. And he knew about this company. So what Rexmon did, he bought the whole company. He purchased the whole company, okay, and that is now Aloe Vera of America. This is the exclusive uh, distributor and manufacturer of Forever Living products, okay? So, this Aloe Vera is a product of more than 60 years of research, okay? This yellow bottle here 
this is a product of more than 60 years of research because 1952 today is uh, 2016 so that's more than 60 years now just a little information about aloe vera we have more than the botanists these are the experts on plants okay they have identified at least two to three hundred different types of aloe vera in the whole world so we have the vegetable types of aloe vera and we have the cactus types of aloe vera so what we have here in forever is the vegetable type and there are only about four or five vegetable types of aloe vera in the whole world and the most potent is what we call the aloe barbadensis miller so that's the exact scientific name that we the type of aloe vera that we use in our company so when people ask you uh, about the type of aloe vera just say aloe barbadensis that's why in our ingredients you will notice that it's aloe barbadensis gel and then open close parenthesis stabilized aloe vera okay and uh, we our company forever living products only uses this kind of aloe vera and mind you in asia most of us here are asians if not all of us here are asians right our aloe vera in asia are the cactus type that's why they are small okay and this one they grow up to about three feet in height when it matures and the flower the blossom it can go up to a height of about five to six feet in height the leaves can be as much as two inches thick okay and uh, these are what we call giant aloe vera compared to the aloe vera that we have in in asia okay now take note we only harvest the leaves when it reaches maturity at two to four years okay or two to four years and uh, we make sure that we stabilize the this gel on location so that it doesn't spoil okay and since this is just a vegetable take note the basic premise this is just a vegetable so since it's a vegetable we do not claim you should never claim do not go around and tell people that you have to stop your medication because this will replace it or this will cure you of whatever disease you have Okay, that is very wrong. That's not allowed. So the company doesn't promote that. What the company says is aloe vera is just a vegetable. It's just a food. So it can only help your body, you know, in certain ways. And it is our body that heals itself, not this product. But we are approved by the FDA because you might be asked, are you FDA approved? Now, I believe we won't be in 160 countries. We won't be surviving, not surviving, we won't be around for 38 years if we are not FDA approved. So all our, our company is FDA approved and the classification that FDA gave us is just as food supplements. Okay, so we also are, we are a food and cosmetic company because we also have cosmetics. Okay, so I hope that's clear. Now, the question is, how can aloe vera help us since uh, it's not cure so how can aloe vera help us now these are the two basic very important systems of our body we have the digestive system and the circulatory system these are two of the most important systems of our body we have to make sure that these two systems are not clogged up before goes and into the stomach here and your stomach will release acid enzymes to break it down okay and then they will pass on the food here to the small intestines that's about 23 feet long and it will absorb the nutrients from the food we are eating and then the nutrients here will be passed on to the bloodstream that's why every time the heart pumps it will distribute all the nutrients throughout our system okay that's why food equals energy if it is absorbed to the blood stream okay because you might be eating good food but if your digestive system is clogged up nutrients will not pass through the circulatory system so you will still have no energy that's why people tend to be hungry easily because even if they eat a lot of food they are only physically full but nutrition wise empty okay so some people they eat less but the less food that they're eating has full of nutrients and their digestive system is clean 
so nutrients can pass easily to the bloodstream okay so that's basically how uh, this uh, two systems work take note very very important okay you have to understand this now as soon as the nutrients are absorbed here the excess food are now passed on to the large intestine so we have the ascending column the large intestine the ascending the transverse and the descending colon rectum anus okay i know these are boring types of lecture but it's still very important that we have to know this because we own our body okay and if there's a problem it is you who's going to experience the pain anyway okay it, uh, probably your your medical doctor will just give you advices but who experiences the pain it is you that's why it's very important that you have to learn also this even just a bit now the reason why i'm also serious about this my father died of colon cancer at 52 years old and what was his uh, symptom the only symptom my father had was constipation so how can aloe vera help us now it helps us maintain a healthy digestive system what aloe vera the properties of aloe vera like saponins it's a natural cleanser what it will do it's it's gonna clean up your digestive system especially here in the small intestines because of our lifestyle what do we normally do nowadays we are always in a rush always very busy we just buy our food buy all these burgers especially children nowadays the burgers the french fries the pizzas with all the oil the grease the fat the additives all the msgs even the drinks they are tainted with uh, some chemicals in it sugars uh, children prefer colored drinks over pure water even the vegetables they eat are sprayed with pesticides okay i have a uh, uh, i met somebody in las vegas he's a truck driver and he was one of those drivers that transports uh, vegetables from california to new york and he was telling me in one of my presentations that every stop he had through those uh, through that almost one week of journey from california to new york every stop the the truck was being sprayed with chemical he didn't knew what chemicals what uh, that was but uh, many years of driving he developed a lot of skin problems that's why he stopped okay and he showed me those uh, skin problems and we let him use our aloe vera jelly and it it improved right away that's why he was also hooked up to forever okay and just to show you that uh, most of the vegetables we eat uh, most of them are harvested raw and how come they remain fresh for over a month okay it's probably because of the you know the chemicals that are being sprayed by some companies so aloe vera is not cure right because these toxins they start to cling to the intestinal walls because they are not natural most mostly chemicals or mostly toxins we call them so they start to accumulate in the small intestines in the walls of the small intestines here and how many years have we been eating 10 years 20 years 30 years 40 50 60 years this is what happens right so when you're it takes time for your body to to have those symptoms of disease because that's 23 feet long i know in america when you reach 50 years old you under you undergo chem, uh, colonoscopy but remember colonoscopy you're gonna be in, a tube is gonna be inserted to your large intestine and it has a camera in front but it's only going to check your large intestines how about your small intestines that's about 23 feet long if that clogs up nobody knows okay so but aloe vera it's not cure it's not a medicine it's just a vegetable it has saponins it has enzymes which helps break down food it has lignins these are deep penetrating agents that's why our uh, personal care and skincare products they also work they penetrate up to the third layer of our skin because of the lignin properties of aloe vera so when you drink aloe vera it will simply start to clean up your digestive system okay but not as fast as this presentation okay <laughs> this is not draino Okay, that when you drink this, uh, people might expect that in a few minutes time, they will be cleansed right away. Now, that's not going to happen. 
Okay? Uh, probably unless if you drink uh, a gallon of aloe vera in a day. <laughs> okay? Now, that's basically how aloe vera help us. First, it cleanses. Second, it nourishes. Okay? Because this is a vegetable. And all vegetables, they have certain nutrients. Now, aloe vera has more than 200 nutritional compounds, including 12 vitamins, 20 minerals, 18 amino acids, and poly and monosaccharides. All of them absorb to our bloodstream, which can help us have energy. Okay? And third, aloe vera also will strengthen or boost our immune system. When your digestive system is clean, your immune system also goes up okay that's why aloe vera is a very powerful antibacterial antifungal and it has a lot of antiviral properties and uh, in my country the philippines if you have relatives who might develop dengue virus just recommend aloe vera to them believe me in just two days two days okay per my experience one to two days platelets will stabilize right away okay now, we know, we know that dengue virus has no cure, right? The doctors will just enter the, the room, check on the, the, what do you call this, the laboratory results. If the platelets are down, why? Because there are more virus that's able to conquer the white blood cells. So if you have less white blood cells, your immune system will drop, platelets will drop. You might go internal bleeding. So they will have to transfuse you with new blood hoping that the new blood will have more white blood cells. What are the white blood cells? These are the soldiers inside our body. They fight back. They, these are the, with what you call this, the phagocytes, too medical, but they are the soldiers. They fight for us against viruses, bacteria, and fungus. So if the, the white blood cells are down, Okay, if you look at your laboratory results, you know that immune system, your immune system might also be down. Okay, but with aloe vera, aloe vera, what aloe vera is going to do, it's, it's going to tell your body through the thymus gland to release more white blood cells. That's why it's able to stabilize the immune system of your body and your body is able to fight back naturally. That's why in one to two days, four ounces of the aloe vera every four to six hours. Okay, followed it up with water. In just one to two days, their platelets stabilize. And in a few days' time, they're out of the hospital. And how much do they spend? They won't be spending thousands of pesos or, well, you don't have dengue here in the U.S., so I cannot compare. Now, last but not the least about aloe vera, it's a very good source for prevention. Now, we do not clash with the medical people. Okay, this we you have it has to be clear with us because sometimes uh, we we argue with them. There's no point in argument. We simply educate people and inform them of our products that it's gonna help us not become sick. Okay, so we are before when you are sick that's when they come in. Because if you go to a doctor and you're not sick, your doctor will just tell you, you go home. You have no business here, you know, falling in line or making an appointment with me. You are healthy. Okay, but our business is we educate people, okay, on the natural way of maintaining your health. So we, do, we should not clash with them. Okay, and don't go out there and looking for sick people okay because some of you might be looking for sick people when you learn about this product it's good I'm not saying it's bad but the problem is there are a lot of complications which you might not be able to address okay and you might have problems uh, solving them especially if you're not uh, keen on research and knowing the ingredients so you might have problems so it's better you focus on the people who wants to stay healthy because there are more of them out there. Okay, because I, I, I noticed some of the business owners after attending the product presentation, they're so excited because they knew a lot of the product, it can help a lot of people. So they go around and look for sick people. <laughs> okay, it should not be the case. Okay, 
there are more healthier people than sick people in the world. And you have a bigger market there. So focus on the people who are health conscious. Okay? Who are health conscious. Or people who wants to become healthy naturally. Okay? Now, how much aloe vera should we be drinking? You should be drinking at least one glass of aloe vera per day. Eight ounces. Okay? And some people, they find it too much. So when people tell me that's that, that it's too much, one glass is too much, it simply tells me that uh, they have a different mindset when it comes to natural supplementation. They think of this as a cup syrup or a medicine, okay? that they only want to drink one teaspoon or one tablespoon. Okay? But when I ask them, how much orange juice are you drinking? One or two or maybe three glasses a day. How much beer do men drink? A case, probably in one sitting. How much wine do people drink? A bottle a night. Okay. How much uh, soda do children or people take? A can, two, maybe a liter of soda. And then when we tell them of a great health drink, they only want to drink this one teaspoon or one tablespoon. So there's something wrong with the way they probably understand okay, about supplementation. Okay? So that's as far as aloe vera is concerned. Now, when is the best time to drink aloe vera? Empty stomach. Why empty? Because there's no traffic. Okay, simply put it, no traffic. Okay? So the, the properties of the aloe vera can right away clean up your system better. Is it wrong to drink aloe vera after a meal? No, but the efficiency of cleansing is less because your body is too busy with uh, breaking down the other foods. And there are a lot of acids that are also mixing with the aloe vera. Okay? But if you drink this alone, when you wake up in the morning or before bedtime or in between breakfast and lunch or in between lunch and dinner, those are the best times that you drink aloe vera. But make sure when you drink aloe vera, you have to drink water after. Okay, how much water? At least one or two glasses of water after a glass of aloe vera. If you cannot consume a glass, probably you can half it, half glass in the morning, half glass in the evening. Okay, now that is for normal healthy people who just wants to maintain their health. If you have something that's going on in your body that you want to you, know, you want to uh, um, correct it or improve it, then you have to increase your dose of aloe vera. Like, uh, like my children, for example, when they're not feeling well, if, if half a glass is normal dose for them, I double it. Or sometimes I give them half a glass every eight hours with water because the body needs it. So when the body needs help, you have to drink more aloe vera because aloe vera can help them in many different ways. Okay? Clear? Yes. Clear as mud? Yes. Yeah. What's the rationale for drinking water right after? Okay. The rationale that we have to drink water after because water, 80% of our body is water. And uh, water is the fastest delivery system of nutrients in our body. Okay? That's the rationale behind. Now, um, although I, I give, uh, I, I tell people that when you drink water, okay, you should drink water 30 minutes before a meal and or one hour after a meal, but not during a meal. But it's different with this because this aloe vera is pre-digested. So when you drink water, it goes past through your stomach your stomach doesn't have to release that much acids and it's protected with the gel. So it just goes through your intestinal tract and it does its work right away. That's why... Because I was thinking the line of this being a detoxifying agent. Yes. The more pure the enzyme is, the better. If you then need it with water, I know it's a it's transfusion agent, wouldn't it be better to get as much enzyme to cleanse the small intestine as opposed to delivery? That's true, but uh, what happens is uh, a lot of people, when they drink a lot of the aloe vera and they don't drink water, 
some of them they they have they develop constipation. So what I noticed sometimes is after you drink uh, aloe vera, uh, like you say, it goes down night. In the morning, you get uh, like dry mouth. That's what I noticed. Probably you lack water. That's why I, it's I, not I, aloe vera. Because, yeah. That's what I noticed when I don't drink water. Yeah, that's why you have dry, to drink water. Okay. Because I'm drinking without water, having that mindset before. Mm -hmm. I don't have issues with constipation yet, but I thought that's why I'm asking the question. Yeah. Because that means I'm not doing the right way. But I've been taking it without water, thinking it would be more efficacious cleansing wise. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, if, if you do that, just make sure maybe a few minutes after you still do drink water anyway. So if you do that, it's still the same. Just like when we take a medication, oral or whatever, we always drink water after. Doctors always tell us, drink water with the medication. I'm thinking about the kind of drain Uh-huh, the drain drain stays first, yeah. it the clock. But if okay. you drink water, then you yeah. waste the drain yeah. So uh, ours is, it just goes through it. Now, different with food, right? In food, we don't mix it with water because acids will definitely be released. And talking about that, uh, it's good that you mentioned some people experience hyperacidity, acid reflux, heartburn. And let me share this to you. One reason why they develop that is they eat too fast. If you're a fast eater, you will develop hyperacidity. <laughs> hyperacidity in the malapit <laughs> masyado. Hyperacidity in the in the in the future, right? So uh, why? Okay, because very simple. When you put food in your stomach, your stomach will release acids and enzymes. If you put more food in your stomach in a short period of time, it will also release more acid. And more acid, it's, it's, your stomach is already full of food, the acid will just go up to the esophageal area. When it reaches your lung and heart area, it will cause a burning sensation we call heartburn. If you have more of that, it goes out. That's why when you drink too much and you vomit, you see it's just acid that comes out of your mouth, mostly. It's very acidic. Okay? So that's one. Two, second reason why some people develop hyperacidity, if they eat meat a lot. Okay? Not, not just protein, but specifically meat, red meat. Why? Because meat is very hard to break down. It takes about two to three days for our body to fully break it down. So if uh, you eat meat today, tomorrow you eat meat again, and then every day you eat meat, so your stomach constantly releases acids. So it also contributes to the hyperacidity in your body. Three is if you're taking a lot of medications, because the nature of chemicals is acid. So if you're taking a lot of medications, it will definitely make your environment of your digestive system more acidic. And what's the problem with an acidic environment? The problem with an acidic environment is that cancer cells, virus, fungus, bacteria, they thrive in an acidic environment. So they become more vicious. They're, you're giving them their swimming pool of, of food and they're enjoying a lot. That's why people who are sick and at the same time are acidic, it, they have a harder time, it, their body has a harder time of recovering. But notice when people start to eat vegetables. Vegetables is the opposite of acid. It's alkaline in nature, just like aloe vera. Okay? When, that's why when they drink a lot of aloe vera, what happens is it neutralizes the acid in your body. So when your body is more neutral, your organs can function properly. The flora, your probiotics, can absorb and digest food better. So they can function better. Your immune system is up. So that's the main reason. Okay? So that's good. Good question. Now, and which will lead us to the next product, okay, which is the probiotic here. Now take note, uh, pro means for, bio means life, so it's for Life. These are the friendly bacteria we are referring here. We have six of that in each beadlet, and they are responsible for food digestion and nutrient absorption. Take note, when we eat whatever food or drink, even drink aloe vera, aloe vera will only clean. It's a prebiotic. Aloe vera is a prebiotic. It just cleanses your digestive system 
and provide nutrients. Now, who absorbs these nutrients to the bloodstream? Remember the circulatory system earlier I was talking about? They are the friendly bacteria or the probiotics. Now, what's the opposite of probiotics? Antibiotics. It's anti-life. That's why we only have to take antibiotics up to seven days. Because more than seven days, your probiotics will also be depleted. Because it's going to kill more than the usual dose of antibiotics. It's going to kill a lot of these probiotics. So you will have very little food digestion and very little absorption. That's why you will have less nutrients, less energy, and probably develop even other problems. Okay. Now, another scenario. Chemotherapy. Cancer. Right? After a chemo session... Why do most of these people, they just lie in bed so weak? They have no energy. Very simple. It's simply because the chemo drugs or the radiation have killed a lot of these probiotics. Okay, And because if you have no probiotics in your body, you have no digestion, no absorption of nutrients. That's why no energy. Okay, And that's what basically happens, right? Now, um, another scenario here, diarrhea. Why do some people have, you know, upset stomach or they have this abnormal amount of poo coming out of their system continuously? It's simply because you have more bad bacteria than the friendly bacteria. The ratio is normally 85 is to 15. 85% of your bacteria in your body, which should be the friendly ones. 15% should be the bad ones, maximum. Now, if you drink water that has been contaminated, you know, leave it in the open for a few days, bacteria will naturally go in there. Or children eat spoiled food, food that has been around for many hours and bacteria starts to come in. It enters the body and the bad bacteria will start to multiply. Now, take note, even if our body, or we tend to eat spoiled food, Sometimes people don't experience, you know, upset stomach because the acids here are able to break it down, to kill all the bad and the, and the good bacteria as well. So we don't need the friendly bacteria here because our acids does the work. But uh, sometimes people do take anti-acids, okay? So we have no protection on that level, so bacteria just enters the digestive system and will create more problems for them. So, going back to diarrhea, all we need to do is bring back the balance, right? Because some people, they take medications. If you take medications, it's going to, probably antibiotics, it's going to kill the bad bacteria, which is good, but it kills the friendly as well, which is not good. Okay? The good news about our product is when you give three instead of one, one is the normal recommendation once a day, if you're healthy, but if you have an upset stomach or if you have diarrhea, give three because your body, your stomach needs it ASAP because the bad bacteria is devouring all the nutrients and flushing it out of your system. So no matter what the child eats, no matter what the child drinks, everything just goes out the drain because you have more of this bad bacteria. So all you need to do Give them the friendly bacteria, more, uh, three of that. Each beadlet has about one billion friendly bacteria. And there are six different strains that's going to help us in many different parts of our digestive system. And the flora goes back. The balance goes back. You have more friendly. In 30 minutes time, you'll notice the stomach starts to calm down. Okay, that is based on my experience for the last 20 years. Whenever I have, uh, I know somebody who have problems with their stomach, I just give them two or three of the probiotic. Okay, and it's it really helps them. And even with cancer, uh, cancer people who are undergoing chemotherapy, when they continuously drink aloe vera with probiotics after their chemo session, you will be surprised they are not weak. They don't lie down in bed. They are just still functioning, working as if nothing happened. Okay? And some of the oncologists are surprised uh, of their, their uh, what do you call this, their resistance. Okay? 
I believe so. Yes. Okay. Ulcer is also a digestive problem, right? Uh, it starts with gastrointestinal disorders, especially medical people or people who are working so hard and do not eat at the right time. They start to develop gastrointestinal disorders because if you have no food and it's time for you to eat, the body knows at that certain time it has to release acids because there should be food inside. But since there's no food, what happens? The acids, instead of breaking down the food, it starts to uh, scrape the lining of your stomach, okay? the lining here. And sooner or later, you develop gastrointestinal disorders, and later on, it will worsen into ulcerations. Okay, that's why aloe vera, together with probiotic, is going to help a lot of people who have that kind of problem. Okay, and talking about E. coli, remember, meat is very hard to break down, right? So, some of the meats that we eat are not broken down by the enzyme. They are unprocessed foods in your stomach. And you, when you have a lot of unprocessed foods in your stomach, it rots. And it attracts different kinds of parasites. Okay, just imagine a trash that has been there for quite some time. Even if it's sealed and you open it a few days after, you're going to see a lot of uh, moving items in there which you could not basically imagine how did it reach there okay our body does the same thing okay so that's why it's very important this aloe vera if only people will open their mind and learn about this this is gonna be a life uh, a game changer when it comes to their health and it has been that's why the company has been around for 38 years and it has been growing into 160 countries. If this is not good, then probably we won't even grow more than 50 countries. Okay? So the reason why we have been growing is because people have been coming back and have been using our products. But there are very few, take note, very few business owners or leaders in forever who knows how to promote it properly. Okay, and that's one of the reasons why they are not effective. They're not able to grow their business. They just want to make money. Of course, everybody wants to make money. But when we tell them, okay, let's sit down and we have to learn this, they have no time to learn. And I tell them, you want to become successful, but you have no time, that's non-negotiable. Okay? So you have to spend time in order for you to learn this because the reason why people won't buy or the reason why people won't join, it's simply because they don't understand why these products, those products that are important to their body, and why the business is important to their life. But when you're able to impart it to them properly, then your presentation, your, your business presentation, your product presentation becomes more effective. And people understand it, even if you only talk to them once, I have been, I have been experiencing a lot. I have a lot of customers that I have only seen them once, but they have been with me for 10 years or 15 years or more because they started using the products and they understand the mode of action of each product that they're taking. They know every time they drink aloe vera, they know what it does, where it goes, and how it works. A lot of people are taking medications, right? They don't know the mode of action. They know it goes in, but as soon as it goes in, they don't know what really happens in there, where it goes and what it does. They don't know how it affects the liver, how it affects the kidney, how it affects the heart, how it affects the circulation, how it clogs the, blocks the arteries, and so on and so forth. Okay? Because we just leave it to the experts. And we believe that these experts, they know everything. Okay, so I hope you are you're learning. Are you learning? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, now these are the six friendly bacteria that are inside each beadlet. And by the mind you, the reason why, let me go back, uh, I might forget. The reason why this is so unique compared to a lot of the leading brands in the market today in the whole world, it's because we have this patented encapsulation technology. Take note, aloe vera, 
That's why the stabilization is patented by this company. We own the international patent for the stabilization process. So there is no competition when it comes to stabilized aloe vera. In our probiotics, we also have the patent for the encapsulation technology. Notice this product doesn't need refrigeration. If you go probiotics, they always need to be refrigerated because friendly bacteria, they live in a certain temperature. Okay? And that's why in the Philippines, a lot of people drink Yakult, right? You see those Yakult ladies going around selling Yakult? I, I pity them because it, they're in the sun, their dry ice is already gone, and they're still selling in the afternoon. So the, probably the probiotics are already dead. So what people just enjoy is the sugar and the, and the milk. Okay, but none of the probiotics. So, if you drink those probiotic drinks, liquid form, or you're taking those tablet form, it enters here, and when the acids release, they are all dead. They have no protection at all. Because acids, they're very vicious. That's hydrochloric acid. It kills everything in its path. It can even melt aluminum. That's how strong our stomach is, right? in breaking down uh, certain uh, foods. Now, ours, we have three encapsulations. Take note, three coatings. When you take this, the first coating will melt in the stomach. We don't need probiotics there. The second coating will melt in the small intestines, and it will release the first batch of friendly bacteria, the bifidobacterium here, these two. And the third coating will be released in the large intestine here, okay? and all the other friendly bacteria will be released and they all together work helping our body in food digestion and nutrient absorption that's why this is one of the best probiotic product in the whole world okay all the products here most of our products if not all they are all world class products they are not cheaply made they are a product of research Okay, they're a product of research, okay? So, now, these are the six friendly bacteria. The hospitals only use this, lactobacillus acidophilus, and they are not encapsulated. That's why it doesn't really help a lot of the patients much. It may, but not much, okay? Because the acidophilus, they inhibit the undesirable organisms and help prevent them from multiplying and colonizing. Our probiotic, ha on top of the acidophilus, it has all the other five as well, which helps us in many other functions, even cleaning up the intestines, even neutralizing the acids, uh, and uh, crowding out the bad bacteria to reduce the frequency of gastrointestinal disorders. So we have to be, you have to be taking this regularly together with the aloe vera. So when you drink your aloe vera, take your probiotic right away. Okay, as well. And then you can drink water after, or maybe a few minutes, you drink water, okay, in your body. Okay, now we go to the third product, which is the Arctic Sea. Now we move on to the circulatory, okay, which is this one. Why, uh, why, do, we, why do we eat fish in the first place? The reason why we eat fish, it's because we're looking for the omega-3, okay? Fish oil is omega-3. Now, ours is not just fish. It also has calamari. So fish and calamari oils is the composition of our omega-3. Now, it's not just any ordinary omega-3. It is super omega-3. Why super? Because we get our oils from the Arctic Ocean. And in the Arctic Ocean, there is no pollution. So the potency of our fish oils and calamari oils are higher compared to fishes coming from warm water oceans, okay? And then we also have olive oil. Olive oil is omega-9, so our Arctic Sea is composed of omega-3s and omega-9. Now, the problem with a lot of the fish oil is they have this fishy aftertaste. Now, we, our company has addressed that. Again, we listen to a lot of customer concerns, so we changed that now into, we added lemon and lime, Okay, that's why there is no fishy aftertaste in our Arctic Sea. Okay, and uh, nice. the size, we have also reduced the size. The 
normal size of the fish oil is twice the size of our soft gels. Okay, so you just have to take two uh, instead of taking one. So take two soft gels every after each meal. And what does uh, fish oil do? They help us in cognitive function, in heart health, eye health, joint support, and healthy skin. Okay, so uh, this is Dr. Dienberg. He is the father and discoverer of omega-3. He was the one who, who discovered omega-3 way back in the 1970s. Now, he's a chief physician. He has more than 350 publications, meaning most of the researches done by pharmaceutical companies now, they all came from his research because he was the one who started this. Now, they, he led an expedition to Greenland. He, saw the, he observed this uh, community, the Inuit people or the Eskimo people, and he realized that they have very low incidence of heart health issues and very low incidence of inflammatory issues. Okay, they don't have uh, asthma, no uh, allergies, no cancers, very little, no cardiovascular concerns. Why? Because their staple diet is raw fish and raw calamari. And that's also the reason why Japanese people are mostly healthier than most people in the world, because their diet is mostly raw. Okay, so... That's one of the reasons why taking this regularly, two soft gels every after each meal, especially if you are eating an oily or a fried food meal. Okay, this will be best uh, to counter the effects of cooking oil in our body because cooking oil, okay, omega-6, we call them the vegetable oils, right? When you have uh, omega-6, um, most people, they buy those oils, of course, because it says they're zero cholesterol, zero trans fat. But what people don't know is that it's zero cholesterol, zero trans fat if you do not cook it, if you don't fry the oil. Okay? If you go to the eastern part of Europe, in Greece probably, they don't fry the oil. They mix the olive oil with their pasta, with their bread, with their meat with most of their foods. But if you go to Western countries, even in the Philippines, we fry our food most of the time. So what happens, that's why starting the industrial age, look at the consumption of vegetable oils, omega-6, compared to the consumption of omega-3. Okay, so there's an imbalance that's happening in our, in our, what do you call this, in our body right now, plus the lack of nutrients, so what happens, this is our normal section of our artery. Little nutrients, it creates a tear there, plus the, a lot of the vegetable oil, which also creates a fatty deposit inside our artery. So your artery starts to narrow down. Okay? When it narrows down like this, you are prone to blockages, a blood clot. Now, if it happens in the brain, we call it stroke. Happens in the heart, heart failure. Kidney, kidney failure. That's why you have to take your Arctic C regularly. Two soft gels every after each meal for normal condition. Healthy people. If your cholesterol are elevated more than the normal uh, levels, you should double your intake of the Arctic Sea until it goes down to normal levels. Now, some people will tell me, Chris, my uh, blood pressure, my hypertension is normal. And sometimes I follow it up with another question. Is it normal because you're taking medications? Or is it normal because you're not taking medications? And some people will answer, it's normal because I'm taking medication. Now, if, it, if you say that, that's probably not right, okay? Medications are the one regulating your blood pressure. It's not your body. So it's not normal, okay? That's why you need a supplement to help your body regulate itself by breaking this down. So Arctic C will help break down this uh, 
this fatty material inside your artery so you will have better blood flow. Now, some people will tell me, my blood pressure is, is okay, or my, my cholesterol is okay, but how come I still have high hypertension? Now, there are other reasons why we develop high blood pressure. One is cholesterol, like this. Two is diabetes. If you have type 2 diabetes, you have more sugar in your blood, so your, heart, your blood becomes thick, okay? Um, what do you call this? Uh, sticky. And then your heart will be having a hard time circulating the blood. That's why pressure goes up, okay? Three, if you're obese. If you're obese, the fats in your body will pin down some of the arteries, okay? Even your heart will have a hard time pumping blood because the fats are there. That's why you easily run out of uh, oxygen when you climb the stairs, okay? Because of poor circulation. Now, if you are smoking or drinking alcohol, they also constrict the blood vessels. Cigarette will deplete the oxygen in your lungs. So when your heart will pump, you have less oxygen mixing with the blood. And oxygen plays a very important role in the blood. That's why we, a live blood is oxygenated blood. If it's dead, we call it in Philippines, dinuguan. Okay? Itim na. It's black already. Okay? So, uh, now, and the last but not the least about high blood pressure, stress. If you think too much, too much a lot of these problems, okay, whether it's be emotional, physical, whatever, spiritual, then it naturally constricts your blood vessels, which will heighten your blood pressure. So all of those uh, things are the ones causing your blood pressure to go up. So there's not just one. It's sometimes a combination okay, of many different factors. All we have to know, we have to understand is, you know, uh, how it came about. And once you understand that, then it's easier for you to manage your yourself. Okay, and remember, we are the captains of our own ships. So if you just rely on somebody to tell you, what if they're wrong? Okay, what if what you say is not really what you really feel? Sometimes we have a different, uh, different uh, what do you call this? We have a difficult time expressing ourselves to a medical doctor what we really feel inside. And sometimes we, they, we are misunderstood and we, they give us a wrong you know, uh, prescription or maybe treatment or maybe program. It happens once in a while. Okay, so it's still better to be informed. It's still better to understand because we own our body. Okay, and we have complete control as to what it should, what how we should enjoy ourselves. Okay, so and uh, we have RG here. Yes. On the Arctic Sea. Okay. Negative reactions to seafoods like uh, allergens and stuff like that. Okay, if they have allergies to certain fish, and it's mostly because of proteins, right? If you have allergies, normally you have uh, too much protein in the body. And any anything, not just fish, anything that has protein will trigger the allergies, the inflammation. So I suggest if they have that, you we go tick pack. Okay, the one picture that I have here is still the can. Okay, but this is more better because when you travel, you don't bring the whole can. It's actually better to uh, just use the stick pack because if you travel for a week, for example, all you need to do is bring five, to bring five of this. Now, what's RG is the brand name. L-arginine is the generic name. Okay, L-arginine is a protein. Where do we get L-arginine? From certain vegetables and some fruits. They have streaks of L-arginine, like aloe vera has L-arginine in there, but, you know, very little. Okay, because it has 200 nutritional compounds. Now, the company concentrated L-arginine here, okay, in powder form. And uh, L-arginine is converted by our body into nitric oxide, NO. And NO relaxes the blood vessels. So when the blood vessels are relaxed, it basically helps us support healthy blood pressure levels. So it supports healthy blood pressure levels, overall cardiovascular health, immune function, muscle growth, bone and tissue growth and repair. That's self-explanatory there. Next. Uh, fat and glucose, metabolism, anti-aging, hormone production, and much more. 
Remember our blood vessels, this one? This is the super highway of our body. A okay, super highway. Everything passes there. White blood cells, red blood cells, vitamins, minerals, immune function, our uh, metabolic waste. Okay? Remember when a car runs, it burns, and it has a waste, a toxic waste we call carbon monoxide. Our body also burns energy, okay, calories, and it also has metabolic waste. Okay? That's why our RG has a proprietary fruit blend composed of pomegranate extract, red wine, grape skin, and berry, ex berry extracts. These are strong antioxidant power to counter the free radicals, the damage that may be caused by this metabolic waste inside our body. So it's so unique. Uh, most L-arginine products in the market are just L-arginine. So that's the reason why some, some FBOs are not effective because sometimes they are asked questions of certain products and uh, probably competition and they are not able to highlight what is good in our product. And some, some of them, they even conform with the competition. Okay? But if you know the advantages of our product, then you will have an edge in marketing our products. And people will prefer using your products than what they have been using already okay so that's one now okay and then uh, this is our product by the way based on research this is dr farid murad he is one of the three uh, doctors who were awarded the nobel prize winner uh, nobel prize for medicine because they actually discovered the effects of l-arginine in our body so they were given a Nobel Prize, and Dr. Farid Murad was one of those uh, doctors who were, was invited by a company to also help us formulate the RG. So this is backed up by medical science. Okay, This is backed up by medical science. And I know some people might question you, is it founded in science? So if you know some of the details like this, you can easily answer them. Okay, and Like I also... Um, told you about the history of our Aloe Verb America. It is founded by Dr. Bill Coates and a group of doctors who were actually studying the benefits of Aloe Verb since 1952. So these are information which you don't need to tell everyone every time you do a presentation, but it is good to know because there are some customers of yours who might ask more uh, deeper or more technical questions. So it's still good to understand this. Okay? So then the Forever Daily, this is our, basically our multivitamin, multimineral formula. It's just composed of 20 specific fruits and vegetables. Basically, 55 perfectly balanced nutrients and it gives us energy. Now, this may be uh, useless for some people if you're digestive system is clogged up okay so remember the aloe vera and the probiotic will clean up your digestive system the rg and the arctic c will help in the circulatory remember the two important systems and the forever daily will give you the nutrients that your body will need for energy now what's What's our advantage over competition? I know a lot of people, they take Centrum, for example, A to Zinc. Well, there are two things I can share. One is this is naturally derived. Most of the competition are synthetically made, laboratory vitamins made. Okay? That's why it may cause overdosage in certain vitamins. Ours, none. Second advantage we have, we have the AOS cellular support, alo oligosaccharides. It's coated with aloe vera. Okay, so it can be absorbed by your body on its own. Okay, compared to even med oral medications, you have to have a transporter or it has to enter the bloodstream in the normal way. Okay, so that's the advantage. Now, that's the Vital 5 pack. Okay, and this is what most FBOs are using. And this is also what most FBOs are promoting because it helps in the health of the person right away, more direct. Okay? And when people will see results right away, 
their business can also grow faster. Okay? So, now, these are the other products I'm going to share to you so that you will also understand when it comes to metabolism and digestion, okay, uh, these are the products that you can recommend to people. First is always the aloe vera. I always recommend the aloe vera. Or when people have a taste preference, okay, now, how do I, why am I able to let people drink aloe vera most of the time? Not all, but most of the time. Because when I do my presentation, when it comes to the tasting, I mind, I, I, may, I set their minds. And I always tell them up front, even before they think about it, I always tell them that this tastes like sh uh, lemon without sugar. Okay? The problem with some FBOs when they do share and they, people, their customers will ask, how does it taste? Oh, it doesn't taste good. <laughs> You are selling a product and you yourself is telling your customer that it doesn't taste good or it tastes yucky. So it defeats the purpose, right? So, But if you tell them, honestly, it tastes like lemon without sugar. It's a little bit thick, especially when it's chilled. There's no aftertaste. So their minds are set, oh, lemon without sugar, oh, that's not bad at all. So when they start drinking it, they always think it's just like lemon without sugar. But if you tell them, oh, you know what, it's so slimy, it's so, you know, when they start drinking it, they will smell it first. The smell alone, they will, even if they know the benefits, they forget all about it. And that's normally what happens. That's why they are not effective in letting people drink this. Because they themselves are not convinced with the product. Okay? So, but if it's really a big problem, a big issue, then you can probably shift to another aloe vera flavor. Okay, this is not just a aloe vera with apples and cranberries. We call the aloe berry nectar. My children started with the berry nectar. The first batch of my children started with the berry nectar. First batch, <laughs> because the last batch, as early as when they were growing up, we we uh, started them with aloe vera so they get used to it, even as young. Uh, babies okay but uh, the older ones when we started they were already under three four two years old so we started with the berry nectar but now they are teenagers they don't drink the nectar anymore they drink the aloe vera because it's too sweet for them so they develop uh, they develop uh, the taste buds they're not uh, wanting to take you know very sweet foods okay and then we have the peach flavor uh, the the aloe beets and peaches, these are sun-ripened peaches, real peaches, chunks of peaches. When you drink it, you still feel the, the chunks of peaches. In, in, in North America, peach is very popular, but in Asia, some of, some of them, they don't know what peach is. That's why they don't like the taste. They prefer the berry nectar. It's more popular in our country, in the Philippines. Okay? And not this. But here, more people prefer the peach rather than the berry nectar because apples is very common. Okay, peach is, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because um, after taking constantly the, uh, the berry nectar? No, the, the regular one, the plate, the aloe vera gel. I developed, uh, this is based on experience, I'm just sharing this. I developed uh, uh, in, uh, a persistent um, UTI, which is very common among women. Mm -hmm. The reason being, uh, perhaps my body is highly alkalized already because okay. of frequent intake, because that's the effect of aloe vera. So what Mario suggested was for me to take the aloe vera nectar instead, but I don't want it too sweet. What I did was to mix it, half half. And, and that. Yeah, like and that. then after a month, because for two or three consecutive months, I have UTI. I go to the doctor, I still have it, I still have it. I keep on taking medication. And then when I tried that after a month, I went back, I'm clear. Okay. Yeah, so at least there's something new that uh, yeah. we can... The berry nectar, uh, because of the cranberries and the apples, it's actually good for urinary because, uh, tablets. Yeah, because when I was told to take cran cranberry tablets, Mario said, why don't you take the aloe berry nectar? Yeah. But I want to, you know, economize on sugar. I don't want to... 
Yes. Uh, very, that's good. Uh, yeah. that's so good that's good for women. Okay. Good to know. Then we have the fiber, forever fiber. Okay. And uh, it provides five grams of fiber. Actually, this product is part of the weight management, but it can also be good for our digestive system because it provides uh, five grams of fiber per stick pack. It still comes in a stick pack. It's uh, here, the fiber. Okay. And this is how the stick pack looks. So you will no by the way it's very important for you to let your when you train your team to show them their actual product because way way many years ago we have uh, we have fbos that sometimes don't know the product and he was asked by a customer how do you drink the royal jelly you know the royal jelly is in tablet form right and then the fbo answered oh just take one teaspoon <laughs> and then the customer answered back, how many tablets in one teaspoon? <laughs> so sometimes if you don't know, there are some customers who use aloe vera, this aloe vera as a shampoo for their hair because they did not, they, it was not explained to them. So they always think that aloe vera is only for the hair or for topical, but not for drinking. Okay, so be, be aware of that. That when you do your presentation, make sure they understand what the products are for, okay? And how it works, okay? So this is a convenient way to support optimal fiber intake, okay? It's quick dissolving, mild tasting, grit and gluten free. It helps support feelings of fullness, help limit feelings of sluggishness after eating, supports cardiovascular immune functions, facilitate removal of waste products from the body. You can just mix it with water okay take this after a meal this is uh, um, corn corn soluble fiber okay and uh, there are more details there if you go to more information in the website okay and okay so we have probiotic also good for the digestive system you already discussed that earlier we have emu blend now emu blend Okay, uh, is composed of fructooligosaccharides. It promotes healthy levels of probiotic bacteria in the digestive system. So, so this is in support of the probiotics. So it helps uh, make the probiotics more. It has lactoferrin, supports immune cell production, and helps maintain optimal levels of beneficial bacteria in the intestines. It also has mushrooms, maitake and shiitake mushrooms, support immune cells. So it's all for boosting of the immune system okay it also has uh, vitamin d vitamin c which fights free radicals and zinc which fights free radicals and supports immune cell production okay a lot of people don't know this okay but i i'm i'm this is a training to show you the other products of forever because you might not know that there are really other products that can also help uh, in the other health concerns of different people because not all people are the same in their health status. Okay, so different people have different needs. So it's it's good to also know all the products of her because this is our business, right? Because if you have a store and you don't know what's in your inventory and people come in and buy a, a something and you cannot even answer them, do you think they're going to come back? They're not going to come back. Okay, so it's very important for you to also master our products, not just the marketing plan. Okay, then we have Forever Lean. This is again part of weight management, but it is also helpful in our digestive system or metabolism. Why? It's composed of two ingredients, prickly pear or Indian fig and white kidney beans. Okay, now what does the prickly pear do? It prevents calorie absorption from fats. Now, this you have to take before, um, just right before a meal. When you see roasted pig in front of you, okay, and you want to eat it, you know it's bad for you, but you still want to eat it, you might as well take this first. You know why? When you take this, and then you start eating uh, roasted pig, or whatever it is, the oily food that you eat, the prickly pear, the fats, I mean, the, the bad fats, the, the, not the good fats, the bad fats will bind with the prickly pear. 
And because it binds with the vegetable, this is just a vegetable, it will not be absorbed by your body. It will just be flushed out of your system. So it doesn't add more weight into your body. That's why it helps in weight management. Now, another thing, it has white kidney beans. White kidney beans limits calorie absorption from carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are normally converted into glucose. Now, white kidney beans will limit the breaking down of carbohydrates into glucose, so it also helps you regulate your blood sugar in your body. Okay, so I also recommend this for people who are type 2 diabetics. Okay, the aloe vera gel, the probiotics, and the forever lean are best for people who are diabetic. Okay, depends. Okay, depends. No, but specifically for specifically for uh, diabetic people, I mean, addressing the carbohydrate issue, the the glucose issue, this helps them directly. Okay, and we have a, a lot of testimonies there. One of them is the manager under Mario and under Noel. Uh, May Malik, okay, her sugar is normal now at six because of because one of because of this and our vital five, okay. So we also have tea, okay, aloe blossom herbal tea, right here. This is uh, the box that we have, okay. Now aloe blossom herbal tea. This is basically the blossom of the aloe vera, the flower of the aloe vera, okay. I mean, if you are going to restaurants and you know take uh, buying their tea why don't you use your own tea which is even more uh, more uh, potent together with the blossom of the aloe vera it has cinnamon and ginger from china it has fragrant cloves from madagascar it has soothing allspice from jamaica zesty orange peel cardamom fennel chamomile blackberry leaf and hymnema sylvestre so all those wonderful tea ingredients from different parts of the globe based on research, the company collected all of them and put it into the tea bag here. Okay, this is naturally low in calories and take note, caffeine free. Yes, because three to five cups. Yes, one tea bag, three to five cups. And if you maximize it, it's basically five cups. So one box, 25 tea bags, right? Mm -hmm. Equivalent to 125 cups. Oh, but you do it only once. You cannot really You put one tea bag, put hot water, let it simmer, then drink. When, you, when it's consumed, you can add another hot water, drink it second time, add another, Three, add another four up to five. Can you put it in a pot and put yes. some water? Yes. Water? Yes. Mm. Okay. If you don't like it hot, you can make iced tea with this. Okay. And then the sweetener is not sugar. You use honey as the sweetener. Yeah. Honey as a sweetener. Okay. Or even the tea, you add the berry nectar, add a little honey, mix it, drink it. Or you can even add RG in iced tea okay so you can actually mix some of our products and make it into a healthy drink okay which your customers can enjoy and they will be curious what's in here okay they like it okay and when you change composition let's say by one please prepare it and put it in a feature put it in a refrigerator and drink it all throughout the day. Does that add any repercussions? No, no, because actually, if it's cold, yeah. it preserves the nutrients. So better, actually, if it's cold. Iced tea and yes. I don't want to keep boiling every single cup. You know, just prepare one feature, and that's okay. That's also okay. So it's just for refreshing. It is a relaxing tea. So I do not recommend this when you're on your way to work or when you're on your way to drive long drives like here in LA take this when you arrive from work and you want to relax okay my wife always drinks that every day after taking care of nine kids every day <laughs> it's actually relaxing hymnema silvestre chamomile all these are good for are good for relaxing relaxation okay it's a relaxing tea and the aroma is so so Good, the potent, the potency of this, okay? 
Okay, now let's go to cardiovascular. Uh, we have already discussed aloe vera. It's always the base in almost every health concern. Always recommend aloe vera because everything that enters here will always pass through the digestive system. So you always have to clean it up. Aloe vera and probiotic, they always go together. And then you recommend Arctic C if they have cardiovascular concerns regarding cholesterol. We know that Arctic C can help them with cholesterol problems, breaking down the, the fatty material inside the arteries. And then RG, which can also relax the blood vessels. And then uh, cardio health. This is coenzyme Q10, which also helps in the support for the heart muscle. So cardio health with coenzyme Q10 is a special formula designed to easily dissolve in our aloe vera gel. So you can mix the cardio health. It is like this. It's still in powder, in sachets like this. Okay, just like what Mario is also holding. Okay, you can mix this with aloe vera. Your one glass of aloe vera, you mix this, and your aloe vera will taste like orange juice. Your aloe vera with this, for me, personally, it tastes like orange juice. Okay? Well, you, even if you don't put RG, okay, or sometimes I mix this with RG. RG and, and, and uh, Cardio Health. This is the Cardio Health. Okay? Coins MQ10, or you can just mix this with water. And then uh, it promotes homocysteine level, blood, supplies coins and Q10 to promote efficient metabolism and provides heart-healthy antioxidants at the same time. Okay, so uh, then uh, we have garlic and thyme, which can also be good for circulatory system because garlic helps support a healthy circulatory system. It also protects against free radicals. So whenever... Uh, I have children or whenever my wife and I are not feeling well, the products that we right away take every six to eight hours regularly, the aloe vera and probiotic, that's one, always goes together, and then garlic, and then the bee propolis, because all those products that I mentioned just recently have natural antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties. Chris, can you go back to the cardio? Okay. It says contains soy. Is this really an issue for people that's like uh, nuts intolerance? Yes. So if they are, yeah, if they have issues with soy, yeah, we will just be cautious. But actually, it is just it, it you know, the company is just honest that it has soy that's in there. there, because actually the issue with soy, I'm not really that sure, but I believe. There are a lot of, because it's it's so popular now mm -hmm. that uh, it's being planted commercially. So some of the, most of the soils that are now being planted are GMOs. Yeah, most of them are That's why there are some issues. But I know there are still soy plantations that are still natural. Okay, so the company just puts it there. I believe our so fat burner at the same time, it promotes a healthy immune system. Now, together with thyme, it's another herb, it doubles the potency of the garlic. Garlic alone is potent, but if you add thyme with garlic, it doubles the efficacy of the garlic. Do you see people who take garlic? Well, uh, not this one, because it's encapsulated. So it's odorless when you take it. So it the the what you call this the coating melts inside your stomach not here not not much i have been taking garlic a lot and i don't experience that if you have bad breath you have a lot of bad bacteria and you need a lot of the probiotics okay have you tried garlic no i don't like garlic but have you tried our garlic you should try it because you're an fbo <laughs> I take garlic. Yeah, if you try garlic, uh, see. As as a as a business owner, you should try all our products. You should you should try all our products. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, all all of this, all of us, we have been been taking garlic, and we didn't experience uh, that aftertaste. <laughs> so probably it makes now it makes you think. 
you're the only one who's not taking it. <laughs> okay. So uh, then we have ginkgo. Ginkgo biloba, ginkgo plus. It's not just ginkgo biloba, but ginkgo plus other ingredients. It's, uh, it increases, ginkgo alone increases circulation of blood to the brain, aids with poor memory, mental, mental fatigue, elevates mood and energy, and increases concentration, alertness, and metabolism. Okay, and the plus are the powerful Chinese herbs like Ganoderma, or reshi mushroom, Cisandera berries, and cured 40. Okay, these are all brain tonic uh, uh, foods, okay, that are mixed together with the ginkgo. In the, in the Philippines, okay, a lot of my customers here are people who are about to take an exam, board exam, bar exam, because they need to concentrate well. They need their minds to be focused. Okay, that's why I advise them, okay, be, while they're reviewing, take ginkgo. Okay, but after they're, when they, after they take their sum, you relax. <laughs> so I become okay. smarter if I just do? Probably. <laughs> okay, <laughs> probably. Okay, you can, that's why it, you can memorize more names. You can memorize and learn more products if you're taking okay. ginkgo. I have one. <laughs> yeah, but this is not cure for Alzheimer's, actually. Okay, this is not cure. But uh, because it improves the circulation, that's why the the, body, the the mind can probably remember more because you have better blood circulation. Okay, the difference between this and the, and the, what do you call this, the garlic is this one is more circulation to the brain. Garlic is more general. RG is more general. Garlic is like a thinner. Yeah, but if you say that, they might get scared. Okay, they might get scared that I won't take that because you know it's bad for me. Sure. Okay, when you promote ginkgo, uh, you can always tell them there's a lot of studies being made. That's why University of San Diego, also mm -hmm. UCI chains, mm -hmm. are selling the ginkgo product. I don't know if it's manufactured yeah. on their stores. Yeah, <laughs> for, for students, especially you know, high end students like medical field and everything, mm -hmm. obviously, it helps. Them. That's good. And I know there's a lot of researches about ginkgo. Okay? So some of some of these, although the company gives information, but if you have more information, better information, that's even better. Okay, your 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 uh, what do you call this? Your presentation becomes even more credible. Okay, and I'm not a guru when it comes to these products. It's because of my 20 years of attending seminars and trainings. That's why I have a lot of this information. Okay, and once in a while, our company uh, gives out flyers or brochures or a magazines. So I tend to collect all of them and read all of them and try to remember the the each product. Okay, that's why this is an accumulation of my 20 years of experience. Okay, I'm not a doctor. I don't have any uh, no medical degree or anything. Okay, so now for energy. These are the products for energy and nutrition. We have, of course, the energy pack, okay, which is composed of five different products. The RG, which relaxes the blood vessel, so better blood flow. Oxygen also uh, flows. Then we have the fab. Okay? You have seen the video earlier about the fab, right? We have two, okay, the regular and the zero everything, zero calories, zero sugar, zero carbs okay, for those health-conscious uh, uh, athletes. And then we have the Forever Daily, which basically is multivitamins, multiminerals, which generally gives us energy. And bee pollen, which is food of the worker bee. Okay, and I will discuss it a bit. Now, RG, we already know, it helps in the circulation. And then these two, it's composed of the ADX7 technology. It's a seven adaptogenic herbs, including aloe vera, guarana, which is a Brazilian fruit. Okay, it's an, a natural energy uh, a drink also in, in Brazil and this technology has been used uh, by the Russians athletes which won 150 medals in the Olympics so a, a mixture like this that is being used in the Olympics it must be good for our uh, body if you want to boost energy by the way because the Olympics is very strict in their testing okay for uh, certain uh, banned chemicals okay now uh, here, here, the Russian track and field athletes, they won over 130 medals in the Olympics with this technology. 
Okay, and we adapted that technology, that mixture in our fab now. Okay, but we have aloe vera okay, in it. Now, we have the Forever Daily, which is basically nutrition, fruits and vegetables, and then pollen. This is this additional information to all of you. Bee pollen is, take note, food of the worker bee. And this is one of nature's most perfect food. Okay, because of the calamities that's in our country, sometimes I always ask and I, I, I tell my, my uh, the listeners that if I am asked which among these vitamins and minerals will I, should I have in case there is a calamity and I am made to choose which of these supplements I should have, I, this is bee pollen, not the aloe vera, bee pollen. Why? In order to survive, in order for our body to perform its function properly, we need five things. Of course, obviously, water is always one. So excluding water, it's always part of it. We need vitamins. We need minerals. We need carbohydrates. We need proteins. And we need essential fats. Those are the five things that we need. When you, whenever you eat food, try to think, are those five uh, properties or ingredients there. Do you have carbohydrates? Do you have proteins? Do you have vitamins? Do you have minerals? And do you have essential fats? If all those things are there in your food, then you are eating a balanced diet. Okay? So, just imagine the worker bee, they collect nectar and they also collect the pollen from the flower within the 12 miles radius. So that's all the millions of flowers, millions of plants within the 12 miles radius, all their nutrients are gathered by the bees through the pollen. Okay, And this is how we have a special collector. When the bees arrive in their hive, they dust it off and the company collects it. And these are the pollen granules, the raw pollen granules. And then the company freeze dries it and then they powder it and then they bind it into tablets like this. And the binder is, again, honey. Okay? The binder is uh, bee honey. So it has complete vitamins, B complex, B1, B2, B3, B6, B12. Vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, and beta carotene or vitamin A. Okay? And then minerals, enzymes, fatty acids. We call this plant source fatty acids. What we were discussing earlier, this is fish source fatty acids, essential fats. This is plant source. And then we have amino acids or proteins. And we have carbohydrates. Are so they pasteurized before they made new tablets? No. No. Okay? That's why we freeze dry it and powder it. Because we the company is very confident that our bee farms are very far it's in the high Sonoran desert. Very far away from civilization. Even FBOs are not allowed to go to the farms. We, we only are up to the manufacturing facility. Only uh, authorized people are allowed to go to the farm. So they will not disturb the bees, how they, you know, they collect the flowers uh, from the wild. What okay. is the shelf life? Shelf life if they're not pasteurized? Um, still. It's in the bottle, actually. If you look at the bottom of the bottle, whatever is the expiration date, it, it says there the manufacturing date. Okay? You have bee pollen there. You try to check under the bottle. Yeah. It, it, sure. there is the, it tells you the, the manufacturing date on top and the expiration date next. Four years. Yeah, four, four years. years. Yeah, four years shelf life. Long. Okay? So, by the way, do you know that bee honey does not expire? Bee honey does not expire. That's how wonderful the bee products are. Okay, the bee pollen, energy food, bee propolis. It's a it's a natural antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. I'll discuss that later on. And then it we benefit a lot. These are probably the only um, food that is collected by bees or by insects and eaten by human beings. Okay, honey, uh, the honey and bee pollen. Okay, and then we have gin chia. You know, gin chia, gin stands for ginseng and chia stands for golden chia seeds. This is for energy. 
Now, uh, these are two ancient herbs, one from the east, uh, ginseng, which is very popular in our area, in our continent. Chia is very popular also here in North America. The Indians, the, the native Indians here in America, they use, they chew chia seeds in order to, for them to travel far away for energy. Now, it is a lot of, it has a lot of powerful antioxidants, vitamins, minerals. So what does it tell us? Again, energy. Okay, when you are working so hard, you can take ginseng. When you're an athlete, when you want to work out, take ginseng to add, to boost your energy. Okay, and then we have multibanka. This is self-explanatory. This is... No, a lot of people don't like this. Explanation. Okay, <laughs> this is a Peruvian maca. This is a powerful herb, okay, which uh, is good for maximum performance. You know what I mean, right? We are all adults here. <laughs> no, for athletes. Okay. Yeah, for athletes and for couples. Maximum performance for couples. Okay. Okay. There you go. Freestyle swimming. There you go. For my, for men and women. Take note. For men and women. Okay. Our uh, our uh, our competition for Viagra. <laughs> Okay, then we have the Vitalize for Men. Uh, it has been explained earlier if you were listening to the video. By the way, you try to have a copy of all the videos of these products because now we are in the digital age, in the social media age. Those, uh, what do you call this, those videos will come uh, in handy when you start promoting it worldwide with your team. Now, uh, this is for prostate prevention. Now, we have to probably know that 50% of men at 50 years old here in America will have prostate problems. And 70% of men at 70 years old in America will have prostate cancer. Okay, so this is a product which can help prevent it. Okay, maintains, uh, it helps maintain normal urinary flow, healthy testicular function. It has a blend of nutrients, minerals, and this uh, natural plants, sopometo, pygeum, pumpkin seed, and lycopene, tomatoes. Okay? Coolers. I call it coolers. Because if you're driving too much, even if you have air conditioning there, it's heated down there. Okay? So you're heating your, your uh, prostate. Okay? So that... In the... In, in most people who have this problem are drivers. Okay, and if you drive too much, no, it says sixty gel. Does that mean two capsules? Two capsules per day. Yeah. So normally our bottles, by the way, uh, it's good for a month. So if it's sixty, you know that it's two per day, like the Forever Daily. Okay. That's the best product to promote the Uber driver. Tell them, okay, if you if they will sit down and listen. <laughs> okay, then we have Vitalize for women. These are for discomforts due to menopause, PMS, premenstrual uh, syndrome, or less than optimal urinary tract infection, maybe related to hormone changes and specific nutritional needs. So again, it's a proprietary botanical blend of apple powder, passion flower, and shishandara berries with cranberry powder, just like the berry nectar, and hormonal imbalance. So like you, you can probably take this with the berry nectar okay, to maintain so that the problem that you had before won't go back, okay? And then it also has a blend of nutrients, vitamins, and mineral, including B12 and folic acid is also important to women, okay? Red blood cell formulation, B12 folic acid, like calcium, which is also important for women, calcium. A lot of women, they develop osteoporosis as they grow older. Remember, at 30 years old, you're the women's, body doesn't absorb calcium anymore to the bones. So whatever deposits you have in your body, that's going to be used up by your body. So it's going to withdraw calcium from your bones, so it's going to make your bones brittle and you develop osteoporosis. That's why you have to supplement when you reach 30. But be prior to 30, you also have to be eating calcium-rich foods because you need to deposit a lot, so it gains a lot of interest. Okay? So... To put it simply, okay? Now, we also have Nature's 18. Now, these are for people who really doesn't like to eat fruits and vegetables. 
So there's another way for them to supplement through tablets if that's the only way they can eat by, uh, fruits and vegetables. This is composed of 18 fruits and vegetables like grape, apple, blueberry, elderberry, cranberry, raspberry, limes, bananas, carrots, cabbage, cauliflower, celery, green beans, kiwi, prunes, lime, uh, uh, red bell pepper, parsley, and zucchini. All of those fruits and vegetables in each tablet. You only need four tablets per day to give you the required daily intake of these fruits and vegetables per day. Especially in colder countries like in, in Canada, this is actually a good supplement because older people, they cannot go out in the cold and buy their fresh produce. So they can just supplement. Okay, they can just supplement. Now it's cold, so you can probably might want to take this too. And it tastes like, uh, the taste is like tamarind. The taste of this, just like tamarind. Okay, you can, yeah, that's chewable. It's chewable, it, that's a big uh, tablet. Just like uh, I, did a, I did a training one time, uh, the, the downline of Evelyn, right? She never realized that the absorbency it was so big, she always had a hard time swallowing it. And I told her, you should not swallow that big a tablet. You chew it. It's made out of oat bran and uh, citrus bioflammable, lemons, orange, and limes. And suddenly, finally, he chewed it, and she liked it. Okay? Now she enjoys taking the, the vitamin C. Okay? Then we have the kids' multivitamins. Now take note. Um, most uh, kids' multivitamins, they are covered with starches, sugar, to, you know, to coat the, the real nutrients. So kids would like to take it more. It becomes addicting to them. But ours, it is sweet, but without aspartame, nor artificial colors, nor preservatives. Just plain 22 fruits, vegetables, the natural sweetness of these fruits and vegetables in there. Now, somebody questioned us before. What if accidentally, because it's sweet, a child opens it and consumes the whole bottle in one sitting because it's so good. Okay, if you leave it with a child who doesn't understand, they will eat it just like candies. Okay? And our scientist, Steve Hatchett, told us, we have already considered that even before they created the product. Okay? The only side effect is the child will have a lot of energy. Because a lot of uh, uh, nutrients, okay. So meaning it's safe, okay. So you don't have to worry; it's safe, okay. Oh yeah, we we consume a lot of the forever kids. For adults, uh, the Forever Daily is a complete multivitamin, multimineral, if that's the case. The other one is fruits, vegetables. Well, both are fruits and vegetables, basically the same. I would prefer the daily. It's more complete because that has been done recently with the recent researches. The Nature's 18 was made a few years back. And our company is also pretty dynamic. It also continues to do research, and we reformulate some of our products when it's already when there are new discoveries with certain fruits and vegetables. That's what I love about our company. They don't hesitate to change it if it need needed to be changed. Their own R and D. When we say kids, it's like, uh, what's the weight? Well, from two years old. As soon as they can start eating solid food, they can start. It says here, it says here, kids and grown ups. Meaning, if we will eat it, we become a forever kid. <laughs> yes, that's right. Because before the vital, we didn't have RG, and we didn't have forever daily. So, in lieu of the forever daily, we added the nature mint for the minerals. And we had the Forever Kids for the vitamins. Okay? And then we had the Fields of Greens. Also for, it's also included in the Vital 5. There was, a, it's Vital 5, but it has seven products there. But finally, last month, the RG was already approved by the FDA. 
and then the daily also came early this year so the finally the vital five is now complete in the philippines why does it take time because the fda in the philippines you know how our system works and our owner rexmond doesn't like to you know go under the table we have an opportunity with china to open up but the chinese government were asking you know a lot from rex and rex just forgot that market and he will wait until you know everything will be right because rex always believes that if he starts right he ends right if he starts it wrong and you start giving money they will always be asking more money okay and uh, that's the principle of the owner now we have bee honey this is probably the best sugar replacement okay honey sugar replacement with your tea with your coffee with your cereals with your anything that you want it sweetened even your fruits okay use honey it's the best refined sugar uh, i have read one article refined sugar is just like heroin and cocaine no difference they are all both addictive and poisonous and all of them they came from plants and then all of them are all refined okay from poppy plants from marijuana marijuana from uh, coffee from what do you call this from from sugar cane they are all natural if you just eat directly it doesn't do any harm but if you refine it they add chemicals in it just like refined sugar it becomes toxic okay so heroin is from what tobacco leaves right and the cocaine is from the puppy plants okay so now this one honey it gives us energy at the same time so every time i eat cereal or even i mix the forever shake okay our shake i put honey in it so it tastes sweet but without the side effects of refined sugar Do okay in cold water? no i i don't think so okay because our honey if you notice it doesn't it doesn't what do you call this uh, harden okay always remains honey until you consume it it just drains even when it's cold it doesn't uh, it hardens it, it it slowly pours because it's cold but it still you know flows just like the honey. So the way you taste yeah. the fake honey is you put it in cold water okay. and you have like a zero. Before what we do with honey, we have a test. We, we have two tests. One is the matchstick, the phosphoro, mm -hmm. phosphorus. Okay? We dip the phosphorus in the honey and then you scratch it. If it lights, there's no other chemicals in it. No added water in it. Okay, if it doesn't light, you already know that the phosphorus was soaked with other chemicals it, because it absorbs right away phosphorus. So it will the the match will not light. Okay, that's one. <laughs> Another is the we have a plate and then we put water right. You've seen that, and we pour a tablespoon of honey, and then we just mix it with the water you will notice the honey will the pure honey will slowly will, will, will slowly um, spread out in the water very very slowly and it will form like a honeycomb while the other types of honey they just blend with the water right away okay so that that's how we test our honey now, for people who are not fond of eating vegetables, okay, I know a lots of kids don't eat vegetables, right? Even my own children, we were having a hard time forcing them to eat vegetables. That's why now that some of them are teenagers, we let them eat this, fields of greens. Plus the aloe vera, of course, because at least we have aloe vera vegetable in there. Now, this is composed of four ingredients here, young green barley, alfalfa, wheat grass, and cayenne pepper. Now, Young green barley contains a lot of these minerals here, potassium, calcium, magnesium, iron, sodium, copper, phosphorus, zinc, and manganese. Now, wheatgrass also contains vitamins and minerals. Alfalfa, rich in minerals and vitamins, what does it tell us? Energy, nutrition. Now, cayenne pepper 
helps to maintain healthy circulation and digestion. So cayenne brings all these three into the circulation. Okay, not spicy, but uh, a little spice, but it's good. When you eat it, you can chew it. Yeah, I just you chew. Are, I just chew it. You are black black okay. <laughs> uh, it, uh, if you want those nutrients to enter your bloodstream fast, we go, what do you call this? You put it under your tongue. Sublingual. 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 Vitamin C. Because there are nerve endings there that can absorb it directly to your bloodstream. Okay. Now, we have the royal jelly. This is food of the queen bee. What does the queen bee do? It just gives birth to millions of bees every single day. But it is the last bee to die in the colony. It lives up to five to six years, while the worker bee only live up to four to six weeks. The worker bee, are they are born to work and die working. The queen bee were, were, <laughs> were designed to, to, to live for a very long time. And what's the difference between their food? It is the royal jelly that is special food made by the worker bees just for the queen. Okay, it's a very, very nutritious food. That's why amongst the bee, bee products, the royal jelly is the smallest, but that's the most expensive on the three. Okay, it's the most expensive because it has a lot of nutrients in there, just like the bee pollen. And it has added more benefits because it, it's used tonic. It helps us age gracefully. So the women, when they hear that, you know, just like a, a anti-aging uh, uh, product, they get so excited like my wife. We attended a, a training by a Taiwanese uh, lady, and that Taiwanese lady, uh, no, not Josie Chu, she told us to guess her age. And all of us were shouting 28, 29, 25, 26. And suddenly he, she told her age that she was 55 years old and everybody was shocked. And all, we, we asked the question, what's your secret? And she told us she was taking 10 royal jellies per day. Now my wife also took 10 royal jellies per day. And true enough, she maintained her skin, okay? Flawless skin, but the side effect, she got pregnant every month, every year. <laughs> Because another side effect is fertility. Queen bee, right? <laughs> fertility. That's why we also recommend it for couples who who wants to give birth. Okay? Royal jelly and aloe vera. With the mapa. Okay? <laughs> With the ginchia. Okay? Now we have B12, B folic acid for pregnant uh, women. Because normally OB gynecologists, they recommend B12, B folic acid always because there's another person or human being there in their womb. So it helps in metabolic processes, including cell division. Remember when uh, the fetus is formed? That's cell division, right? Cell division, DNA synthesis. Just imagine the DNA, the very source of uh, you know, forming of the, the child. Now red blood cell production. So this is also good for people who are anemic, okay, this one. Now, uh, red blood cell production, proper nerve function, and also helping to reduce homocysteine levels. Now, B12 deficiency means deficiency in folic acid. So we have that both here, okay. So, okay, then we have vision. Going this, back to the homocysteine, we always mention, how do you explain uh, in elements? What is Google it. Google it. <laughs> See, here's a nurse here. Preventing the heart from um, I think you already know the answer. You just want me to. What's the answer? Okay, she just thought. She just said it. Okay, vision. This is for the eyes. Eyesight, right? Antioxidants. Now, aside from the powerful antioxidants like vitamin A, C, and E, there is bilberry, lutein, and zeaxanthin. These are super antioxidants. Okay, the, these are recent researches, findings about uh, uh, plants or herbs that are good for vision. Okay? For a blind person, cannot I know? <laughs> when you're blind, you cannot see anymore. Okay, <laughs> you need a miracle. <laughs> okay, 
So immune system, this is for the immune system. Now we have aloe vera, again, we have immune blend. Second, we have B propolis. Now let me share this a little bit. Now propolis is used by the bees, bees to cover their hive from virus, fungus, bacteria, or wear and tear in their hive. That's why pro is for, polis is city. That is their city, actually their hive, okay? So, it has more than 150 chemical compounds which have anti-inflammatory, anti-allergenic, antioxidants, and or anti-mutagenic. Whenever, let's say, if there's a, a mice or a rat that would like to steal their, their honey, the bees will sting it to death. So, of course, the carcass is there and it starts to rot, right? And it will develop a lot of uh, bacteria. They cover it with propolis so that the bacteria or whatever it is, parasites, cannot affect their hive. That's why, don't you know that the hive of the bees, the inside of the hive of the bees is a hundred times cleaner than the cleanest operating room in the hospital. That's why they have never evolved into another species, another insect. They have preserved their, their species since millions of years ago. Okay? They have never mutated into another insect or adapted to any other. But now they're actually affected because of pollution. Okay? The, the bees are dwindling all over the world. How do they become sick and mosquitoes? Okay, so take note. B propolis also contains organic acids such as caffeic acid, which contribute its antibiotic, antifungal, and antiviral effects. That's why, even if uh, when we are not feeling well, again, I'd always drink aloe vera and probiotic, garlic, and B propolis. I take that in mega doses. Or sometimes I lose my voice, I just chew B propolis. Sometimes I chew. I chew B propolis. Sometimes I consume half of the bottle in half a day. Okay, remember, sometimes we think that's so much. Okay, but remember, these are food. Okay, these are natural food. These are not uh, medicines. When you say it's too much, you are thinking in terms of dosages. You're thinking in terms of chemicals, toxicity levels. Here, you sh we should not think in terms of dosages. The more the better for your body okay so we have promised it it's not available in california but uh, you might have other sources of uh, delivery if in vegas a lot of the fbo's they have it delivered here but this is also good it's a very powerful uh, antioxidant drink it's composed of seven fruits very powerful in antioxidants pomegranate pear mangosteen blackberry blueberry raspberry and grape seed all combined in that powerful drink. One glass of aloe vera, you can put one or two ounces of the, the pomestine, mix it, and it, your aloe vera tastes great. You can mix it with RG if you want, you can mix the pomestine with your aloe vera, you can do cocktail as long as it's all natural. Almost okay? Aura. Yeah. The, what's ORAC? ORAC is oxygen radical absorbance capacity. That's how strong it can protect your body okay it it uh, protects the cells from oxidizing okay from oxidizing just like the apple fruit right if you slice it leave it on the table three hours it oxidizes now that's why antioxidant berries they stay longer in the shelf because they have higher antioxidants notice grapes strawberries they stay longer but bananas just a few days they are rotten okay lemons or the melons they rot easily if it's open okay but berries they stay longer now we have the to-go also this is composed of aloe vera and pomegranate so if you travel and you need to drink it especially people who have ca cancer they need a lot of antioxidants that's why the pomestine is best for them okay they can also use this travel pack or even as a drink for their kids instead of soda why don't we Replace it with this. Yes, because it's uh, just three fluid ounces. You can even carry it, just hand carry. It's designed for travel. Take it by itself. But it's the whole box, no? No. Yeah. We tried it in Europe. 
if oh, yeah. it's more than 12 it's if it's more than a dozen it's commercial quantity anywhere anywhere in the world they will always question you one product more than 12 pieces commercial quantity so you will question it okay so you always have to tell them that it's for personal consumption okay or check it in good but if you hand carry it you will be questioned okay then we have a beta care which is vitamin a vitamin e and selenium okay specifically antioxidants. before we had the before we had the pomistine before we had the antioxidant drinks we had a beta care as an antioxidant so it, this is an old product but we still carry it because a lot of fbo still use it some people they don't like drinking they like taking it soft gel form so you have options okay and then we have absorbent C. Now take note, vitamin C is a water-soluble vitamin. Uh, why do companies make it 500 milligrams? Because, but our body only needs 60 milligrams of vitamin C at any given point. So why 500? Because it's a water-soluble vitamin. Once you take it, it quickly goes out of your system. But ours, we only have 60 milligrams of vitamin C in our product. But we mix it, we bonded it with oat, oat bread, okay? Oats. Now, uh, we combined it with 500 milligrams of oat bran, a highly soluble dietary fiber, because oats, they travel slowly in our digestive system. So the vitamin C stays longer in our digestive system. Okay, so it's used up by our, by our body fully. So we are not wasting vitamin C. And Natural. Yeah. It, it has papaya, our absorbency, it has papaya fruit, citrus bioflavonoids like orange, lemons, limes, these are natural uh, vitamin C in there, plus the oat bran. And it's binded with honey. Okay, that's why I just chew it. It tastes like orange. Okay, tastes good. Okay, now we have garlic also for the immune system. So, and lyceum, this is also a Chinese fruit used for centuries. Enhance your complexion, help maintain high energy and good vision. This is also an old, old product, but uh, we have newer uh, antioxidants now. But people still, some, some countries still prefer this over the modern, the new products that we have. Okay, then we have echinacea. Okay, this is also an old product. These are for, uh, to prevent colds, okay, from uh, happening. So if you're about to catch cold, just take echinacea. It also boosts the immune system. Okay, the rationale behind here, it actually protects the HA, the hyaluronic acid, which protects the cells, okay, so that uh, your cells won't be easily attacked with viruses or bacteria, okay. So, can, can help support immune function. Now, joints, okay, let's talk about the joints. Now, we have, first, we have the Forever Freedom. Now, take note, this is made out of aloe vera, glucosamine, MSM, and chondroitin which are good for the joints. Specifically, we recommend this for people who have osteoarthritis, osteoarthritis, or inflammation of the osteo, or the joints, or the bones. Now, this is the normal knee joint. Notice this white thing here at the tip of the bone. That, those are the cartilage, okay? Every time you eat fried chicken, at the end, there is that, that rubbery, uh, what do you call this uh, cartilage or thing just like our ears our nose it's cartilage so that's cushion so when you walk when you run when you jump there's cushion that's why there's no pain but through wear and tear or when you're overweight the pressure that goes to your joints it wears down the cartilage that's why here what happens here you your bone starts to rub against each other you have friction that's why there is pain Okay, and later on, if it's too much, it will create a tear in the surrounding tissues and water will come in. That's why it becomes inflamed. Okay, and then they will bring you to the outpatient department, insect, uh, inject a big needle to extract the water. But does it solve the problem? No. You still have a problem here. Now, if you go to the medical experts they will only have two recommendations one they will look at your insurance if you have a great insurance total knee replacement okay if none 
pain medication. Now, pain medication is, this is how it works. You will take a drug to tell your mind not to feel the pain. But the damage still continues. Years after, you will come back and tell them it's painful again. So the tendency is to replace your medicine with a much stronger pain medication, which may have side effects to your liver and your kidney and your heart. So it becomes even more complicated. So they start with one or two or three medications and then end up with taking a basket of medications. And later on, you will be given a certificate which says cardiac arrest <laughs> due to complication. Okay? So, uh, but ours, different pathway, when you drink freedom, okay, it will not tell your mind not to feel the pain. But it has glucosamine, MSN, and chondroitin, which will actually help you rebuild the cartilage. Okay? So, glucosamine stimulates production of, the, of a polysaccharide that serves as a nutrient base for cartilage growth. That's what glucosamine does. Okay? And so it's a base for the, the foundation, right? And then chondroitin is a major component of cartilage providing structure by holding water and nutrients and allowing other molecules to move through the cartilage tissue, which is very important since there is no blood supply to the cartilage. So it works together with the glucosamine to draw in moisture and help maintain cartilage plus support new cartilage growth. So our joints again develop cushion. That's why the pain starts to subside because there is less friction. Okay? And we have MSM. MSM is it's a very long medical term. Methyl sulfonyl methane. <laughs> you don't have to memorize it. Helps maintain cell membrane flexibility and permeability, thus supporting the growth of collagen and connective tissue. So it's support. So all those three, we call it the triumvirate, which helps us in our joints together with aloe vera, which is a very efficient transporter. And it also has vitamin C in our forever freedom. Because vitamin C is also good for connective tissue repair. Okay, now always recommend freedom. This is our freedom, by the way. How do you drink this? Just like the aloe vera. Okay, you can mix and match. You can uh, alternately drink this. Okay, or you can drink it alone if you have osteoarthritis. Okay, and you can drink gel if you want. Better if you drink gel and uh, freedom together, no problem. They're all the natural mix mix if you have osteoarthritis yeah. the cleansing yes because it has aloe vera but not as much as the pure because it has less aloe vera in it okay but it has some cleansing ability because of the aloe vera but not as much as the aloe vera gel taken as pure okay so uh, then we also have the pouch here freedom to go if you really need to travel and you you know this is very hard to you know travel with you carry a dozen of this so the pouch will the freedom to go will be more convenient for you just like what mario is holding now see freedom mario is drinking that because he's getting younger <laughs> okay and then Remember, this freedom will help in cushioning the joints. The HA will help in the lubrication of your joints. So this, this two should always come together, the HA and the freedom. Okay? When, at the same time, because it has uh, HA also helps in, in the moisture. Okay? And it has ginger oil and turmeric. Okay, I have a video of that, how, how they explain. And even Arctic Sea yeah. can also, because in the Philippines, we don't have HA. So we recommend the freedom with the Arctic Sea because Arctic Sea is also good for joint support. As an oil, it also is lubricant, lubrication. Okay, and then we have calcium. Okay, we have a whole video of this explaining why calcium is important to our body. And I have just explained it earlier. And what's important here is we use a different kind of calcium. We, we use dicalcium malate, 
which is one of the most expensive but very potent calcium ingredient in the world so far discovered and that's what we use in our product okay so it it's also chelated so it uses a different pathway so our body absorbs it faster than most of the commercial brands okay so uh and then we have nature min this is multi minerals there are some people who lacks minerals in their body and uh, people ask me when it comes to uh, what do you call this balding okay it's caused by many different things one of them is lack of minerals in the scalp because just like a a uh, land right if it lacks minerals the plant doesn't grow well so just like our hair okay plus lifestyle of course we're using a lot of the chemical shampoos we take a bath warm water our pores open chemicals enter and it starts to destroy the root of your hair so starts to you know affect your hair as well plus women coloring all the straightening curling coloring it also makes their hair dry and brittle and you know thin and damaged okay so many different things that affects us okay so plus stress yes yes it's already combined calcium with magnesium and vitamin d so you don't have to take three three tablets because some people they take calcium they take magnesium they take vitamin d okay calcium without magnesium will not or vitamin and vitamin d will not be absorbed yes okay so it's there actually okay Google. now Thank you, Google. and then we have a warming agent aloe heat okay this one is a warming agent okay we use this for muscle pains joint pains immediate relief for arthritic pains if you are an athlete or even if you're not an athlete before exercising you you uh, put this in your muscles so it helps you relax it heats up so when you start playing or when you start exercising you are not prone to injury and after you exercise your muscles are tired you pour this you put this again so it will help your muscles relax okay and you can also use this for stuffy noses okay you you can put this in hot water pour this so that the steam you say a, a what do you call this a um, towel to to smell it just like inhaler or you can put it directly if you can you know tolerate the heat okay and the good news about this is after a few minutes the smell is gone but the heat is still there okay unlike other bengay or omega painkiller in the philippines the smell stays until the, the time that you wash or take a bath okay they know there's a silver sheet in the house okay <laughs> <laughs> then we then we now we have essential oils by the way okay and we have some essential oils that are oils that can also do the same function like <laughs> lavender also helps us msm this is also a uh, this is methyl sulfonyl methane organic sulfur found in almost all living organisms third most abundant substance in our body uh, it is expertly combined with pure stabilized aloe vera so you can also rub this if you don't like the smell you can use this but most people they prefer the heat with the eucalyptus uh, smell because we have been used to it okay so the the fit the weight management i'll just go through body is heating up so your body is actually burning calories while you're at work so if you're exercising with this it even doubles the burning of your calories so, lean. lean is different uh, lean will bind with the fat so that the fat will not add weight to your body okay this one will heat up your body so your body will constantly burn the whatever fats excess calories so you start to lose weight even faster now take note your body doesn't lose fat in the first three weeks okay it it, it is through exercise healthy diet to the next one two three months that you start to lose more weight 
Just like when I did the clean line before, I only lost four pounds. But when I did uh, the program, uh, me and Tito before we did the contest, the weight management. So we did both the clean line. He lost more, about nine pounds or ten pounds. I lost only four because I was already drinking a lot of aloe vera. But after the program, he he lost uh, just a few more pounds. After that, I think a total of fifteen pounds. But I lost a total of thirty-five pounds after two months. That means that you have more fat. Okay. No, I really became leaner. And I, I maintained that weight for many years now, since Tito joined. Okay, almost 10 years. Okay, so that's we, without the term yet. But if you understand how your body works and what's really good for your body, it is very easy to lose weight. Okay, the, the problem is a lot of people are not really determined to lose weight. Okay, because if I tell them, okay, stop eating uh, fried foods for one year, no, <laughs> forget it. No. Okay, forget it. Okay, so we have Garcinia. Again, Garcinia is a Garcinia is a is a uh, natural appetite suppressant. Okay, so it's a fruit. Take note, it's a fruit. It's not a medicine. It's a fruit uh, which reduces the body's conversion of carbohydrates into fats. Okay. Meaning it will convert your excess uh, fats into glycogen or stored energy. So if you have enough energy or nutrients in the body, it tells messages to your brain that you don't need to eat more. So this is the scenario. When you eat, when you see food, okay, somebody who is um, doing a program, a diet program will say this, oh, I like the food, but I'm on a diet. So even if he or she is hungry, she should not eat because he or she is on a diet. But her body is craving for food. And there's a psychological effect. It's not good. Sometimes when they're alone, they tend to eat more. Okay? But this one, when you're taking Garcinia, the long-term effect is that when you see food, you will eat the food. But as soon as you start eating, your body fills up faster. So you your tendency is not to eat more than the usual, the normal uh, intake of food that you normally do. Okay? So it's a natural appetite suppressant. Different from the lean. The lean will, will bind with the fat so it will not add more weight to your body. This one is different. It will convert your existing fats. Now take note. It's still going to convert, right? So I have a, I have a, a classmate of my wife who ordered this. And after he ordered this, when it arrived, he cooked his best meal, put it on the table, and started looking at it and ended up devouring it as well. And he called me up and told me, you said I'm going to lose my appetite. How come I, you know, I consume you know, my favorite food? And I told him, it's not that fast, okay? So when you eat, when you take Garcinia, if you have existing fat, it's going to burn it first, okay? Sometimes it takes a few days for you to become, uh, what do you call this, adjusted to the appetite, okay? That it starts to suppress your appetite, okay? So then we have the Forever Life Ultra. Again, it, uh, it is soy complete protein. Now, again, that's another question mark for people who have been doing researches about soy. But I have a full video of this explaining where we get the soy and how soy helps us, but the non-GMO, of course. No? So this is low calorie. I've been taking this for many, many years now. My children have been using this as their milk instead of the cow's milk. Okay, This Forever Light, it's Forever Light with amino teen or amino protein, amino acids uh, protein. It's low fat, low saturated fat, low cholesterol, good source of fiber, 18 vitamins, minerals, and uh, the registered mixture of forever, the amino protein. Now, this is a meal replacement. You can replace your breakfast and dinner with this. Sometimes when we are in a hurry, uh, MJ knows that my breakfast is just a glass of aloe vera and I mix 
the Forever Light Ultra with 10 ounces of almond milk. Okay, shake it, put honey, and then drink it. I'm done for the morning. And I don't feel hungry until lunchtime. When you have an open sack, yes. say if you can have a refrigerator for five months, but there was a question. Pack this one? Yeah. Okay. Still open? Open already. Because okay. The people that they did that thing Do you read us? Uh, and then they put it back. Of course, close. They just put it in the refrigerator. All the time. They ask me if they can still come home. They can? If they can still, they still use that. For a year? Not five months. Five months? Why not? Okay. okay, it's it's uh, as long as it's sealed, because it, there's a resealing but do you uh, really clap, need right? To put in the ref? Well, if actually not no, not I really. Don't. If as long as it's in room temperature, it's okay. It's better. Even better, even better. Okay. So take note, two servings a day, meaning two mixtures a day, can prepared with non-fat milk or skim milk or almond milk or whatever, not cow's milk, right? Can give you 54 grams of complete protein, 100% of the vitamins, minerals. Wow. Okay? Two grams of fiber, 432 calories, one gram fat, six grams carbohydrate, and of course the proteins that our body needs. So... If you want to lose weight, replace your meal. If you want, it's a powder. Mix it with the milk. Okay. If you want to gain more weight, you eat your regular meal plus two mixtures of this. Okay. To gain weight, but not gain weight to become fat. I mean to become more solid and more, you know, uh, more what do you call that? Uh, robust. Okay. So. And then uh, we have the Pro X. This is now the this is the old picture. Our new Pro X bars are now in better packaging. And it tastes better. But it tastes better also. Uh, before I used to tell people that it looks like a it looks like a brownie, but it tastes better than a brownie, <laughs> okay, and it's more nutritious. Any brownie. Yeah, brownie. So uh, I see the face of uh, <laughs> okay. The brownie. Yeah, but I love this. This is for me. This is not available in the Philippines because of, you know, transporting issue, the heat in the container vans. But if this is available in the Philippines, I, this will be the snacks of my children. Okay, what, you know, what do children consume with their snacks? All the biscuits, all the flour-based foods. This is more nutritious. Okay. That's in the, I think it's in the it's in the it's in the fit. Yeah, that's the new packaging now, the one that Mario is holding. Then we have the Forever Lean here, and then okay, I'll just run through this quickly and we're done. Okay, just ten more minutes and we're done. Now, personal care, we have shampoos and conditioner for if you have dry hair, we use the hydrate shampoo and conditioner. Take note for dry hair, we use this blue one. This one. For dry hair okay this is for dry hair uh, brittle split ends okay if you want volume more volume we use the volume shampoo and conditioner okay so we have specific okay for volume shampoo and conditioner here now both those products are color treated safe for color treated hair I know most women, they color their hair, okay? So it's safe, it thickens and fortifies hair, cleanses while adding volume and shine, and it balances the scalp, it's pH, okay? That's, then we have the regular shampoo, but it, we now have a new packaging for that, and even reformulated ingredients, we don't have the, the actual, pro, the new product there. Oh, the new one. The new one, no, this is the old one actually, but, but the new one has already essential oils in it, okay? And they have taken out some of the questionable ingredients from this, okay? And it's sulfate-free, SLS-free. So all the, all the questionable ingredients, it's more natural. So this is a regular scalp cleaner, the jojoba shampoo. So we have three different types of shampoos and conditioner. The hydrate for dry hair, for volume, and the regular scalp cleaner.
for men, normally we only use the shampoo, but for women, we recommend the conditioning rinse for manageability of their hair after. Okay, and our, uh, and our conditioning rinse, this can also be used as a leave on conditioner. I think that leave on. Yeah, yeah. After, yeah, after you take a bath, just leave it on so it conditions your hair and protects your hair all throughout the day. These are leave on. Now you know. Okay, the newer one. I'm referring to the newer uh, aloe hoba. This is the old packaging and the old uh, formulation. The new one is you can leave it, okay, as a leave on conditioner. The new one. And then we have a new packaging also for this. It's aloe hand soap, which you can actually use for your face, for the whole. I use that for the whole body of my children. All of them, they use this. Yes. I didn't see that one. Now I saw one day. Hand yes, because the company wants to, uh, you know. Yeah, but you can still use it for the face, for the whole body. But the company wants to be specific because we have we have cleansers for the face, so it overlaps the, you know, it competes with the cleansers. Okay, but this can uh, this can also be used, okay, for the whole, even a shampoo for your hair. It's mild; it doesn't dry the skin. If you use bar soaps, okay, those cheap bar soaps that pe most people buy in the stores, it dries your skin. Especially kids, their skin starts to become tight, okay, and then it cracks. That's why they, they start to scratch it and it causes some skin problems. I, we ordered the hand and face soap. Okay. And then they delivered hand, hand only. Because that's the new packaging is only hand. So, yeah. so if we order, we have to uh, specifically... No, no, no. no. This, is available. this is the old one. Yeah. The new one that will arrive is no longer this one. It is really, it's just a hand soap. But you can still use it just like this one. Okay? The company just wants to, you know, specifically uh, target the market for this. Okay? Now, we also bat gelay. I use this with a nylon ball. This is my body soap, okay? Because what I like about this, it it actually um, excre uh, what do you call that? Huh? It takes away the dead skin cells in your body, okay? So you wet your body, then I put it in a loofah or nylon, better nylon ball because it doesn't absorb. Then you then you rub it all over your body, neck down, not your face, of course. Okay, with your face, I use the aloe hand soap, okay, for the face, or you can use an aloe, a, a cleanser for the face, but I use this for my body. And the good news about this is when you rinse, you feel cleaner, moisturized, as if you don't need to put lotion anymore. But the, the cleansing effect is different. We even had a, a, a demo for that. We, we put three glasses, we pour water in it, and then one we put we chop uh, what do you call this um, soap okay bar soap a lot we really concentrated it another one is just pure water and then the other one is water with the bat gelay and then we made cones made out of paper okay the paper uh, a, a carton uh, paper the one that used, used that in grocery eggs in grocery okay the paper bag the, the brown one it's it's a thicker right so we made it into cones and then we pour the soap with the bar with the bar soap with water we pour it we notice the water doesn't drip okay then the other one we pour just pure water it still doesn't drip but the water with the bat gelay when you pour it in just a few seconds you will notice the paper immediately becomes wet and it pours now what's the rationale behind the cleansing of the bath delay goes deeper okay because of the lignin property of aloe vera it penetrates so the cleansing is deeper down the protection is also better moisturizing is better okay that's how we test the soaps okay that's why the hotels doesn't make money from us because well, the hotels are happy because we don't use their shampoos and their soaps. We always, I always bring my own soap and shampoo and bath gelay and toothpaste. Everything I bring. We have the travel pack. 
The travel pack has the bath gelée in it. Okay, all you need is a loofah. Okay, and then we have deodorant. No aluminum salt, so it doesn't clog your pores, doesn't stain your clothes, it doesn't um, darken your armpits. Okay, so it becomes cleaner actually, and doesn't stain clothes. Unisex, both men and women. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then we have the tooth gel, of course, obviously. What what uh, what's good about this? It has no fluoride, so no fluoride meaning non-toxic, so it's safe for our children. And remember, it also has B propolis, which is antibacterial. That's why it protects the gum as well. And it's non-toxic. It's least abrasive. It doesn't scrape the enamel of your tooth. That's why it doesn't make your teeth more sensitive, and it protects your gums as well. It's good for bleeding gums. Good for pyorrhea. Good for gingivitis. Good for bad breath, good for many different gum problems. Okay, the tooth gel. So I suggest brush your teeth, peanut size, take out the plaque. The second brushing is food for your gums. So brush twice. Okay, wake up in the morning, you feel fresh. Okay, unlike other toothpaste. Okay, so we have Gentleman's Pride for the men after their shave. Okay, after shape, alcohol free. That's the feature of this uh, of this product. It's alcohol free. It moisturizes, lubricates, pure stabilized aloe vera gel. It smells good too. So you can actually make this as gifts for Christmas. Okay, uh, here this one. Okay, if you wanna smell this. Yes, yes. If you want to smell it, that's different. Okay, natural, natural scent. Yeah, it's not strong. The scent is not strong, so you might want to give it as gifts to, to your spouse or to men. You wanna, okay? Yeah, pag nagahit. Now, now when you shave, when you do shave, we have aloe shave. Instead of buying the Gillette, the foamy thing. To shave this one is is we have the equivalent here that's made out of pure aloe vera okay so now we use this the aloe shave okay and then after shave use this and put the cologne after you change then we have the hand sanitizer here that normally causes dry skin to a lot of people but ours it doesn't make your hands dry because it has honey and aloe vera in it and the scent is, it has what we call um, um, lavender, okay? Lavender and uh, lime, I think. Yeah, lemon and lavender. So it smells good at the same time. And then we have the MPD, okay? MPD is multi-purpose detergent. We use this for laundry, dishwashing, household cleaning. Remember, it is biodegradable, environment friendly. You, you don't need to wear gloves because it doesn't affect your uh, your skin and it's mild on your clothes so especially with kids it rubs on their skin and it makes their skin sometimes itchy if you use a lot of detergent and it's very economical too when you use this for uh, clean for dishwashing okay you just add a few drops into water and then it takes away grease and grime better okay it doesn't leave streaks yeah this is you only need, yeah, and one wash load of clothes, probably about 10 kilos. You just need one. There's a, there's a line there, only up to there. And then uh, switch on your washing machine. This is 1.8 liters, I believe. This is 32 fluid ounces, one quart, about one liter. No, a little over to go. I don't know. Okay, and you smell it. Okay, and even if uh, it, after you don't need, you don't need. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's mild on your clothes. It protects the color of your clothes. Okay, so Filipinas, even this case, walang mga dryer doon. Pag, uh, one, one, one wash load. Yeah, one, one wash load. Somebody asked 
Some, some those cucumber that uh, women they go to the spa they put cucumber they have the mud pack this one this is made out of cucumber and aloe vera so it tightens your your skin okay so when you rinse it it takes away the dirt the grime the whiteheads blackheads good one one uh, tube about six to eight uh, what do you call this uh, times you can use it okay apply liberally then just wash it with uh, lukewarm water how many minutes 10 15 minutes okay you will feel fresh that's if your your skin was uh, tightened okay and then we have the aloe first yeah, you, see, yeah, you yeah. can use this as a first aid <laughs> okay what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I won't say that. <laughs> I know what he's thinking. <laughs> this is good for tightening the skin, the pores. And, you know, some women, they use it also there to tighten. <laughs> That's why the aloe first in our country got wiped out after we announced it. <laughs> okay, then the sunscreen. SP30. Now take note. Uh, why SP30? Some some uh, companies are selling more than SP30, right? And I asked that with our with our chemist, and they say that at 30, it's maximum protection. More than 30, you're just adding more chemicals into your skin. Okay, so it's actually you. It's just a marketing ploy to put more SP into a product. But actually, 30 is maximum protection. Just add more after three hours. After three hours, just put again. So you have another three hours protection. Okay? So, uh, and then moisturizing lotion. Well, it's good for, as a skin moisturizer, it's also natural insect repellent in the Philippines. This aloe vera is also, uh, the insects don't like the smell of aloe vera. That's why the aloe vera, it grows on its own. Very few insects uh, go near it. Okay, and then uh, especially now it's cold lotion. These moisturizing lotions are good for that. Tanning lotion, I don't think we need this. Okay, uh, Europeans they need it more. Then we have the Epibla. This is for um, imperfections, those telltale signs, exposure elements uh, to the especially women. Okay, uh, what do you call that? In the Philippines, we call that sebo de macho. Okay, it lightens dark spots. Okay, it lightens scars. But if the scar has been there for many, many years, of course, it's not going to be erased, but it can lighten it up. Okay, and then we have the Alpha E. My wife always uh, uses this to enhance the skin. It's a, a, a rich cornucopia of ingredients designed to enhance the skin. Okay, aloe vera is one of them. And then we have the alluring eyes. This is to for the eye bugs. Okay, for eye bugs. You don't know this? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is to reduce the appearances of wrinkles, fine lines, under eye puffiness, and dark circles under the eyes, especially women. Okay. Now, use your ring finger and only dub. Okay. Don't rub. Okay, and then sleep with it after you clean up your face. Okay, and then we have the scrub. It has a jojoba oil suspended in pure aloe vera. Okay, you can use this every day, especially if you're always exposed to dust and uh, grime and dirt. So it has this jojoba spores, uh, spears that you know can take away those whiteheads and blackheads as you wash your face. And then we have a aroma spa collection. Okay. If you want to do a spa inside your, in your bathtub, inside your own uh, home, no need to spend thousands of dollars. Before bed. Okay. Okay. So, we're basically done here. I won't be explaining this anymore.